Boo. Boo. I'm the Easter Bunny. What do you do? You ask me for money. That's what you do. That's the right answer. Come on now. Happy Easter, everyone. Or just happy Saturday. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> if you celebrate her. <laughs> Whatever. I'm highly aware, though, that yes, it is a weekend that many people, at minimum, maybe gather with family or friends. So, happy gathering weekend. And, um, it's cool that people are gathering with their IRL fam instead of us. I fully understand. <laughs> I'll be here opening mail. And that's okay. I'm sure we got some Menchie Gang opening chocolates with their family. And we are happy for them. Maybe they're watching on VOD. Shout out to the VOD squad. And you were like, I miss my dose of 12-year-old nonsense from 2016. I had to do family things. But I'm going to settle in with my Easter chocolate and watch this three days later. Because why not? So shout out to those people. I'll see you in the comments in three days. <laughs> Money, chocolate, yeah. Okay, we can talk about Easter. I want to show you my nails. I have a charity update. And um, then we'll open mail. How's that? But yeah, welcome on in. Welcome on. It'll just be a cozy, definitely no chaos stream. Um, you know, I can never predict what people sent me seven years ago in the mail. But that's part of the fun. Can't wait for the unhinged chaos of the Simply Mailogical children. They, I did raise them. Many years ago. They're all grown up now. And we're going to shame them eight years later. <laughs> Make sure you have your tea. Barbara is mad. I missed my two year. No, happy to be back. <laughs> 27 months. That's wild. That's longer than it takes to make a baby. Stephanie, I'm watching with my IRL family while making dinner. Are you hiding from them? Do they know you're watching? Shout out to Stephanie's family. She's poisoning your food. <laughs> what? Who said that? <laughs> welcome to the Mench Gang. Welcome to our wonderful mods. And welcome to the Easter Bunny. I'm going to do a poll. Like, so I understand who does Easter here. Um, I don't have any Easter events today. I do tomorrow, though. Happy Easter, Chris. Would you ever share a list of how you categorize each polish? Well, that's a tricky one because not all of them are easily categorized. But on our website, if you filter by or like it shows you categories, that's probably the way. But honestly, too many of them overlap. Simply stream on my birthday. Happy birthday, hot tub ball. What a lucky day. Okay, I'm going to ask like... For Easter, no, I don't know. For the whatever holiday you may celebrate in April or March. For <laughs> April, March holiday, growing up, did you get um, chocolate, money, uh, both, or nothing? <laughs> No chocolate, no money, no celebration. Okay. Because I realize some people maybe have Passover and I think they usually get money and bread. So maybe not chocolate. But Easter is what I grew up celebrating where we like would do an Easter egg hunt in our house and we had a basket and we got those shitty like, okay, you know the chocolate? No offense to chocolate, but like there's some Easter egg chocolate out there that is trash. And I only learned this when I got old <laughs> and learned that, you know, if I had the choice, oh, I would much rather the Cadbury cream eggs or even just Cadbury chocolate at all. Like give me those. Don't give me the shitty no name ones in like different color pale foils because those taste terrible. Once you you get that adult palate, or even like as a teenager, I realize I'm like, oh, this is trash. My parents have been buying me eggs from the dollar store. <laughs> yeah, they're like chalky, and sometimes they look like they're three years old. Okay. Yeah. Is it Palmer? I don't know the brand. Maybe. It's Grandma Chocolate? Yeah. Like that tin. Uh, Quiet 
Street? No, Quaint Street. Uh, something with a Q and it's purple. Like that. That's my grandmother's tin. Oh my god. Oh my no. No. Here. We're gonna find Easter. Easter Palmer's chocolate. Let's look it up. Like this? Okay, I never knew the word Palmer's. But yeah, it looks like this. Uh, Easter egg bad chocolate like anything that looked like this that didn't have branding was just bad and the inside was kind of chalky you know what i mean <laughs> unless it was cadbury or like a good good brand so i hope that you guys get good brand chocolate <laughs> i have mini cadbury cream eggs oh my god that's so good okay these are my favorite easter eggs but like anything cadbury honestly I'm a Cadbury stan. Okay, well, the mini eggs, duh. But like um, these, the mini Easter eggs that were cream fill filled, even just these ones. I guess that's another cream egg. But any, any like just a dairy milk, just something that tastes good would be nice. Thank you. Lindor's fine. I don't know. Lindor's a little like too much for me. It's like too exquisite. I don't know, I'm more of a Cadbury girly. Cookies and Cremes arrives today. Woohoo! Hope it arrives early enough to acclimate it. Yes, let it warm up. Just sit on it for a little bit. Let it hatch. The original cream egg, right? Like, do we all agree Cadbury is good? Like, come on. That's Ben. He would prefer the Reese's. But I just get me anything that has that dark purple on it, you know? Oh my god. I want to eat this. <laughs> Didn't I do nails <laughs> like this? I swear I did. Hold on. Simply nail logical. Uh, egg Easter nails. Yes, I did. These ones. Got them. There you go. What an influencer. I've always been a Cadbury influencer. I would get toys I could use outside in the spring. Toys is fun. My brother and I got a kite along with Easter chocolate. All right, let's uh, wrap up the poll. For April, March holidays, growing up, did you get 60% said chocolate? Most common. 3% got money. <laughs> Parents were like, no, uh-uh. 21, oh, 21% got both. Okay. 16% got nothing. RIP. Hope you get something as an adult. Wow, I did these two. Weird. I freehand painted. Weird. Who is that? Not me. So I outsmarted my parents. <laughs> Can you believe it? It's very easy to believe. Um, <laughs> we celebrated Easter. We always got trash chocolate. And then when I learned about good chocolate, I was like, oh, can you maybe next Easter, can you get like the Cadbury ones and then they were just uh, usually annoyed with me so they were like why don't you just pick and then um we'll hide them around the house for you and your sister and then I was like okay I will pick so then I'd pick like the good chocolates but I didn't know where they were hidden and then my parents would hide them I mean the Easter Easter bunny would hide them of course and then we would get them you know but by the time I was like let's say 14 maybe 15 because I started working when I was 15 so I think the year before I started working, I realized like, wait a second, do I want a bunch of chocolate or do I want money? So I tried to negotiate. I was like, why not? Listen, parents, I have a proposal for you. I'm an in industrious child here who's making you a business proposal. Why not? Instead of giving out chocolate, you give us money. Just don't spend the money on the chocolate and give it to us instead because I would like to save for my future. <laughs> and you know what? It worked. <laughs> it worked. I was big brain as a child. Yeah, I, I was a business kid. Because, um, I mean, I don't know if my sister was happy about that, but I mean, <laughs> she was like, I want chocolate though. Too bad, girl. I'm helping your future too, okay? So they started hiding like loonies and toonies oh fuck i'm canadian i gotta explain what the fuck this is 
like loonies and toonies. Okay, here, this, okay? That's a dollar coin or a two dollar coin in Canadian dollars, which is like two cents American. No, I'm joking. A dollar is, let's look it up. Um, One dollar CAD to USD. So it's 74 cents, okay? So they would hide 74 cents in today's money. <laughs> I don't know what it was <laughs> that long ago. <laughs> or the $2 coin around the house. <laughs> and then I just find like loonies and toonies. <laughs> Real money, not the fake money that looks like money. No, 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 because I know that's a thing too. No, no, no. I was like, when I'm getting old enough to work and I'm thinking about savings and I have to buy my own cool clothes because my parents were like, we're not buying that for you. Like, go get to work if you want to buy yourself something you don't need. So once that transition started and like they weren't just buying me whatever I wanted because I was a child with no opportunity to make my own money. Uh, I was like, wait, then you need to give me opportunities to make money. <laughs> Like, stop spending money on Easter chocolate when you could just give me the money. And that's when I became a business lady. So, you know, it might be too late to try that out on your parents because you're all grown up now. But if I could go back eight years ago, I would tell you this as a 14 year old because you were 14 eight years ago. And uh, you would have been rich today. If only you had followed my advice. <laughs> Maybe if you're a parent, you can consider this. But honestly, I would put it on your kid. Like, you should put that onus on your child to think about this, you know? You want them to, to be industrious and consider the value of money and think of ways to, like, save and want to be good at saving and not just spending your money. You know what I mean? So, like, you kind of want to hear them make you a proposal. And then you're like... I like the way that sounds, that's so smart. And then you encourage them that way. Not that I'm a, a parent, but. <laughs> so your fake Easter eggs weren't filled with money? No, it was like the eggs just turned into money. Like instead of putting a shitty ass egg around the house, they would put a dollar. <laughs> and then I'd just find a dollar. And it was like such a better Easter once I was a teenager. And then I got too old. Cause you know, that can't last long. <laughs> Then like after a few years of that, they were like, okay, no, we're, we're not putting money out for you. You're no, like that's enough now. <laughs> like move out, <laughs> bye. So when I was 17, I moved out. So I think I only had three years of money being hidden and you know, getting that. Don't ask your parents for crypto, come on. She was a smart ass from the start, I was. So there you go, Easter. So that's what I think of when I think of Easter. I think about my master plan I executed as a child and how whatever it was in me that inspired me to do that, I don't even know. Like I didn't even watch a show that was like, this is what you need to do. Um, I just did it because I, I thought that the only way for me to like buy those track pants that I wanted or something was to make my own money, but I didn't really have a way to make money because I was like too young. So I was like, but if my parents give me money, then I'm making money. <laughs> my family would hide X amount of pebbles in eggs for dollar amounts and written paper number for prizes. That's cool. That's like a casino where you get tickets and then you trade it for money. That's fun. Better than being a dumbass? Yes. Don't be a dumb dumb, okay? Be a smart ass. Make money fast courses for children. That's my next calling, actually. How to grift your parents. <laughs> How to get the most out of your allowance. What do you think? I could do it. I feel like I'm lacking credibility, though. I feel like only a parent could effectively deliver that course. Yeah, you'd have to be a parent so you could say like, I tried this on my child or, you know, my child tried it with me and here's what I know. So I've only been the child. I know how to scam the parent, but I don't know what it's like as the parent to be scammed by the child. <laughs> what is that shirt? Look, it's a bunny who's dead. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, I killed the Easter Bunny. I got it in Florida. Um, this is like apparently a bougie brand. It's called Psycho Bunny. Which I thought was Happy Bunny. But it's not. <laughs> like, okay. Look. Okay, do you remember this? Okay, if you're my age, you remember this, right? I had shirt, I literally had this shirt that said cute but psycho things even out. If I wore that today, I would, I would be canceled. But um, I had a bunch of these shirts. I had these calendars. I had like so much shit with this. Like, uh, since you're gross, shouldn't you be smart? <laughs> you remember this, right? Shout out to the warehouse. Thank you, tricks and treats. Let's go. Three days to the UK. Oh my God, I hope you love them. Anyways, this was my childhood of smart ass rabbits. And when I was in Florida, I saw this and I was like, oh my God, is that Happy Bunny? Like, I love that shit. And then I, it was like way more expensive than what I remember. And it didn't say Happy Bunny, it said Psycho Bunny. And, but my brain was like, oh, I had a shirt that said cute but psycho. So like, I don't know, I guess this is just the reimagination of it, you know, tw 20 years later. But it's not. <laughs> I looked it up later. <laughs> Psycho Bunny is a men's clothing line. That's not Happy Bunny. What? But I kind of like it. I'm just like, wait. Did you get your idea from Happy Bunny? <laughs> like, it's a little more like not as colorful or annoying. And they only make men's clothes, which is just so rude. I know because I went to the store in Florida and I asked them, I'm like, is it like, what's the sizing like? She's like, oh, it's, we only have men's or children. And I was like, what? You don't have, wait, you have men's? Children, no women? And they're like, no, we don't know women. So this is like the extra, extra small and it's big. I mean, it's fine, <laughs> but like this is the smallest men's size. Whatever. If you're going for cozy vibes, it's fine. But I kind of wanted like a cute, you know, a little bit more fitted. Um, but yeah, <laughs> they don't make, they don't know women. What in that shirt makes it men's? I'm, I don't know. They just only have men's sizes, but they advertise it as like the, a men's store or children, but they don't have women. So like, there's no, my, my size is not available. <laughs> Is what I'm saying. I also looked at the largest child size, I swear. <laughs> I, I was like, okay, what's your biggest kid size? Maybe I can fit into that. But the problem is they're, they're all so short. So even the sweater, which fit, was like in between a crop and not. And I was like, I don't want that. I want like, no, like to my waist, please. So yeah, I, I got this. Anyways. Happy Bunny is not the same thing as Psycho Bunny. I just thought you wanted to know. <laughs> and it was also like really expensive. So it feels like good quality, I like it, but this was over like $100. Um, I just wanted to try. Hello, fellow Canadian here. Hey, eh? Just wanted to mention that I got two Holo Taco, Holo Taco Royalty in two orders. I Oh, you got to Holo Taco Royalty in two orders. Damn, let's go. I have never loved a nail polish brand this much. Thank you. That's so lovely. That's so kind of you. Thank you. Two orders. Wait, what? You must have spent $250 in order. Damn. I'm so happy you love it. Psycho Bunny can't name 100 women. They can't even name one woman. Um, speaking of women, we donated to women, okay? For this month's Menchie Gang contributions where I donate a portion of the membership proceeds that you guys provide, I decided to choose a women's related health charity because on stream last night, Ben named 100 women and I was like, pretty good, good job. Ben naming women, so I'm gonna donate to women. Uh, <laughs> so we donated $2,900 to Women's College Hospital Foundation in Canada. And I'm gonna bring up their little about them. 
And if you put exclamation charity in the chat, you'll get linked to a spreadsheet that has a record of all the donations we've made since I started streaming. Um, but here. They play a direct role in advancing the health of women and creating solutions for the healthcare system. And uh, yeah, they advance healthcare for women in marginalized groups and educate the next generation of healthcare professionals. They fund research, they respond to emergency needs, and they have an outpatient teaching hospital with a specific focus on closing the healthcare gap for women and underserved populations. So let's go women! Can you name a hundred women? <laughs> we love women. So that's this month's charity. A huge thank you again to the Menchie Gang. Those are supporters of this channel. And also to the gifters, to anyone who gifts Menchie Gang memberships. Um, we really appreciate you. I know the people who get gifted get really appreciate you. And for the Mench Gang, we do, um, I give you guys exclusive first updates on any Simply Related merch stuff we're doing. And I also do a monthly behind the scenes kind of bonus stream where I hang out just with the Mench Gang. It's usually on the last Sunday of every month, so it's only available on the membership tab. So if you're in the Mench Gang or you are a gifted one, then you'll see past streams and you can go back and watch them. You can also watch Menchie Sleep, her history of Menchie Sleeping. And there's a role in the Discord. There's a role in the Discord and your own chat. If you're in the Simply Neological Discord and in the Menchie Gang, make sure you sync your YouTube to your Discord. There's instructions in our Discord because there's a new chat that'll open up that's only for people who are actively in the Menchie Gang. Yes, thanks, Carol. Well done, Menchie Gang. Over 1,000 and, I mean 1,000, 100,019 <laughs> donated. Just a little more than a thousand dollars. Did the charity link work? Oh, no, that's Hello Taco Tracker. Oh, here. There's our charity tracker. Let's go. Bam. We're rich. I mean, they're they're rich collectively. <laughs> And this is just stream related. This doesn't include like all the tuition stuff I've done, um, all the other animal stuff I've done through merch before I started keeping this spreadsheet and tying it to stream. So I've donated like five times this probably, um, but this is just related to stream stuff and like slightly more recent history. Happy birthday, ha happy birthday, happy Saturday. <laughs> Thanks Mike. Today is besties, is my besties 24th birthday. Awesome, trying to, tip, to pick a mani to do. Well, let me show you my nails. Uh, and then you can see what I did. Maybe it'll inspire. Simply, have you seen the 30 pound horseshoe magnet trend? It's crazy. It makes magnetic polish look so cool. I have seen it, but it looks cool as you're doing it, but regular nail polish that isn't gel will always settle. So it will look not that different from using a regular magnetic wand the following day. That's my hot take. But if you're using gel polish, then yeah, it can hold shape, but that's just the difference between regular and gel. Let's try this again. Let's try this again, Gray Shades. Thank you for swapping out the royalty rewards every now and again. We always swap it out. At least in between every major launch, sometimes a little more. Have nail oil arriving tomorrow. I'm addicted. Let's go. Me too. To nail oil. It's for your nails. What's on my nails? What's on my other hand? Oh, shit. Okay. Here. I'm very excited by this. I'm wearing on this hand brownie points the new dark brown creme and on top I'm wearing a different iridescent shimmer so it's kind of like a rainbow and I'll walk you through it I've got celestial lights on the pinky freezer burn <gasps> we did this combo before and it it killed so it's stunning it looks like frozen chocolate uh, polar princess the pinky the pinkish one 
Scorched Earth, the reddish one. That one's really nice. I love that one. And then I've got Halogen Glow, the yellowy one on my thumb. I'll kind of, here, I'll do an ugly pose so you can see them all. Right? Which one's your favorite? Honestly, I kind of like Freezer Burn still. Freezer Burn on the dark brown is just so like wicked. It just looks so cool. But I also just tonally speaking, really like Scorched Earth to warm it up. Yeah, this is the ugly pose, but I have to show you all the, all the nails. Okay, then over Perry Social, our new Periwinkle Creme. This is more like light princess vibes, like just like a dusting. It kind of looks like those chrome nails. I had a friend ask me recently, like she sent me a picture of a, a chrome nail look over like a light purple um, that, that you would probably do using like a gel and a powder. She's like, how do I do this? I'm like, well, that's gel, but you could take a pastel color that you like and then put an iridescent shimmer on it because I know you have them because I gave them all to you. So do that. <laughs> and she's like, oh, I didn't know you could do that. And I was like, that's a hollow toggle combo. <laughs> okay, so on this one, I've got Celestial, it's backwards. It's the same as this hand. Like if you go like this. But Celestial Light's here, so you see a little tint of green. Freezer Burn here, which looks cool when the spotlight's on it, but at an angle, you are gonna get that yellow cast because anything that's a blue iridescent like Sonic Unicorn Skin or Freezer Burn on a light color is gonna show you the yellow cast. Not on black, you don't see it on dark, but. So I'm not like a super fan of the blue over light colors for that reason. Um, this looks stunning. This is Polar Princess. So does Scorched Earth. Scorched Earth looks lovely too. They look kind of similar over top of a, a pale color. But if you if you step, is that a, is that a mention here? Yes, it is. If you step back, I, I think Scorched Earth is just, has the edge a little bit for me. There's something warm that it brings to it. You can see the red pop a little bit more than the pink. So I, I prefer Scorched Earth personally over Perry Social. And then you've got Halogen Glow, which is a little bit lighter and brighter. The other ones darken it a little bit more. But um, yeah, here, I'll give you the ugly pose. Ugly pose. So because it's all over a lighter color, the difference in color is less obvious than over a dark, right? That's the science of the unicorn variety, the unicorn species. So the subtleties, it's, it's more subtle. But if you're picking a favorite on this one, I think it's Scorched Earth, damn. Scorched Earth over a pastel is just fucking beautiful. So yeah, that's my recommendation. If you want light, go Perry Social with Scorched Earth. And if you want dark, go Freezer Burn over Brownie Points. Yeah, 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 do it. The shimmers are awesome, thank you. And we have a shimmer bundle. And it better be in stock because I'm, I'm saying how good it is, so it better be in stock. And it's in stock, it's in stock. <laughs> yeah, we, we made a bundle of all the shimmers, so that's six. Yes, I only have five nails on each hand, unfortunately. So I, I excluded Twilight Shimmer. That's the slightly more purple one. But yeah, there they are over dark, over both black and white. So many things you could do with them. Make your own combo. Anyways, um, yeah, that's all the shimmers. There are six of them. I should, I should have put this picture there with this pose. Ew. <laughs> Perry Social is such a beautiful and bright shade. So happy to have her. Thank you, Casey. She needed to exist. All right, shall we mail? Let me just put away my shimmers. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Welcome back to another episode of Simply Mailogical, where I open your mail from eight years ago. Disclaimer, in case you've never seen me open mail. Uh, one, I don't have a P.O. box. It's been closed for four years. Don't send me anything. Any addresses on the mail are old and defunct. They will get returned to you. <laughs> don't send me mail. If you want to send me fan art, though, that's wonderful. But do it in the digital way. Share it in the Discord. There's been a few things shared recently. Let me do a quick, a quick share, actually. I've been meaning to do that. Um, just to shout out to digital art, this is from CP Tortilla in the Simply Fan Art channel in the Simply Discord. It's a birthday donkey for Ben's birthday. I mean, it's not for Ben's birthday. She has a friend, but let's pretend it's for Ben's birthday, which is coming up <laughs> in a couple days. Happy birthday, donkey. Woohoo. What else we got? We got this. From Ceres, my daughter loves to make me pictures. This one is supposed to be on my phone. She makes Simply's live stream setup and added her nail polish wall and Menchie in the corner. <gasps> Hello, doggo. Simply the best. Aww. Password? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't tell people my password. Simply chat. Look, chat, that's you. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this trash. What are you guys saying? Makes no sense. <laughs> Chad's looking good. Okay, uh, this is from, oh, it doesn't show me the full name. N, because I'm on stream mode, it doesn't always show me the full name, so I apologize. But someone with the username that starts with N shared these. These are old now, but I have the confidence to share my first year in my college's photography program and we got to choose whatever we wanted to shoot. So duh, hollow taco. Now looking at it, I can see so many things I would change, but I'm proud of the result. So they did this photography for their class. That's so good. Look at that rainbow. It's just missing magenta jelly, but it's lovely. <laughs> good job. And then we've got this from Smooth Butter. I made this fan art of Simply for an animation program application. What? That's so good. Hold on. I'm, I stretched it so you can't see the nails there. Fuck yes. Where, where is this scene? I would like to go. This looks like a video game. I love this style. This is so good. That is insanely good. Do you, do you, do you design for merch? <laughs> That's so cool. I love the vibes. I like the little halftone effect there too. The little twinkle in Menchie's eye. Look at that. The style is really interesting. And so is the mix of textures. Like see the ears have like a different texture on them. I look so much cooler here than in real life. <laughs> it looks like a poster, right? The, with the lighting, yeah. <laughs> All right, well, that's awesome. Thank you, Smooth Butter. Okay, well, all that to say, you can send me digital fan art um, in the Discord under the Simply Fan Art channel. Second thing about mail is the mail is old, not because I hate my fans and didn't want to read their stuff, but because over the last several years, there's just been literally too much that I could not open it for all of the pre-edited Simply Mailogical videos that I've posted on this channel, which are several. We are on episode 18 of live stream opening mail. And I posted like well over 10 of the pre-edited, which had a lot more packed into it. And I still have so much mail. So the reason why I have mail that I haven't opened for eight years is because it was just literally too possible, too impossible. It is a volume problem. Um, not, not a you problem. It's a me and a volume problem. There's only one of me, but there are thousands of letters <laughs> and I wanted to be able to open them, um, whether like online or for the camera or something so that people could see. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to do a 48 hour stream exactly. Or just like a never ending stream, like not stopping stream until I'm done mail. But honestly, <laughs> that would take like three weeks and I need to 
I need to live. <laughs> I keep the mail in my shower. Yes, the mail is still in my shower in a bunch of buckets and bags. No, I do not use that shower. It's the shower in the basement. <laughs> It's the extra shower in the house. No one's allowed to use it. Okay, you can't turn it on. And when COVID started, I stopped doing mail videos because I didn't want to encourage people to send mail. And then and a year after that, we shut down the PO box. So I went through like two years of just not opening mail. So there's that problem too. Happy Easter. Oh, I already read that. I know you created a spreadsheet, but will there be a my stash feature on the website? That is something that I like, you know, you know how like Lululemon has my closet, something like that. Um, it just takes a lot of development resources to put into that. So it's on my list of things to do, but it can't be at the top. There's other things that are like requirements to maintain the website properly. And that's more like a fun thing. I want to do it, but it's actually not that easy <laughs> to just add. <laughs> I wish, <laughs> me, not a web developer. Like, why can't we just do this? Web developers be like, well, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. <laughs> and then maybe they're like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right then, we'll hold off for now. <laughs> Web developers are, understand what I mean. Okay, let's open mail, bitches. I need my scissors. Who sent me this? What ch what child? How many children will we read from today? Thank you, Mountain, for the gift of memberships. And I think I missed some earlier. Thank you. All right. This is from Anna Mo Oh, I need a, a, I was gonna say a calendar, a map. Map of America. <laughs> Where? are the American states. I do not know. Here we go. Okay. This is America. Um, this is from Indianapolis. Where the fuck? Indianapolis. Indy. No. That's not a state. That's a city, right? Indianapolis. Indiana? Really? That's so confusing. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> right? Right? Like, it sounds like it's, like, already in the name of the state. Okay, it's in here. I think that's a city map. No. I don't, I don't want a city map. That's too much information. Too much information. This is a state map. Anyways, this is from Indiana. How is that confusing? Because I don't want to see all the names of all the cities and all the states at once. That's too many words for this Canadian. <laughs> I, I only want the names of the states. That's it. <laughs> Listen, okay, we only have like 13 provinces and territories, not 50 something states. Listen. <laughs> Okay. Oh my God, they included a picture of themselves uh, as a child. Uh, I'm, I'll just like cover their face, but. <laughs> they, are, they are literally a child. Oh my God, okay. Hi Chris, they are not a child anymore. Wait, this says, okay, the letter says October 2016. And it says, how old does she say she is? Uh, 12. Do the math. She was 12 in 2016. How old is she now? Go. This is your math test. Hi, Christine. My name is Anna. I love your channel. I love how you put humor and stupid stuff together. I love what I'm known for. 
to make the funniest YouTube channel I have ever come across. They're 20 now? Damn. I am another one of your holosexuals who came from America. I am from Indiana. Oh wait, did I not mention that I am 12 years old? Sorry, I forgot to be normal and put it at the top. <laughs> I have two cats. One of them is Kiki and he's 19 years old. Her cat was older than her? Oh. That's like hard to imagine. I don't know. <laughs> like your cat was like seven years older than you? <laughs> wow. My other cat is named Bella. She's two. I'm going to try to draw a picture of you, but I can't draw, so I will try. I can try to give you some pictures of me and my cats. That is all. Anna, sorry, no glitter bomb. This is a good picture. What does it say? Hi, I'm Christine. Yes, there is no H in my name, but like, who cares? I like hollow and Menchi. Sounds like something I would say. <laughs> Okay, Anna, who is 20 now. Where are you at, girl? I got your artwork. <laughs> your picture is so funny. <laughs> it's like her school picture. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Anna. Shouts out to you. She's like away at college. She's like, you know, partying right now. Didn't go home for Easter. She was like, fuck that. I'm gonna stay with my friends. That's Anna today. Okay, this is from east bernard texas y'all all right i don't know where east bernard is y'all but it's somewhere out here okay let's open she they drew sprinkles everywhere i'm still waiting for someone who sent mail all those years ago to, to be watching that happened on the last stream last stream and several streams before that there has been a person who's like oh my god that was me <laughs> The, um, uh, I believe it was someone who lives up north in Canada sent a beaded, uh, a beaded hollow taco logo and they, they were in the chat. They sent it like, it, um, on a, a holographic purse, but they like hand sewed beads. That one sticks out to me, but they were in the chat. That was fucking crazy. I was like, what? All right, this is from Texas, y'all, everybody. From Mallory. Okay, hello, Christine and Ben. Your videos are fucking amazing. If Donald Trump wins, <laughs> can I come live in your garage? <laughs> well, there's too much garbage in there. Okay, you don't want to. You don't want to live there. You guys are so funny and I love how you portray yourself. You don't give a fuck and that's awesome. Can I please have your and Ben's autograph? I have a YouTuber's autograph book. Really? <laughs> I want to know who else is in it. And ever since I found your channel, I've been hooked. I included a letter and a stamp. Uh-oh. If you don't, if, if you can't, don't worry. Say hello to Menchie and Zyler for me. Okay, thank you, Mallory. They literally did include... A letter and a stamp. I listen. If they told me who else was in that book, I would do it. This accent is wild. Is it? Is it wild? That's wild and Texan. I don't know. <laughs> I don't have the ability to do like distinct American accents. I basically just do one that sounds like that. <laughs> That's it. I wonder if they went to the taco truck meetup. Maybe they did. Maybe I already met you, Mallory. Do it. That would make their life. Okay. The chances that they still live there are like 10%, right? What? How many times does the average person move? Let's look it up. How many times does the average American move? Okay, no. How many, how many, how many years? Whatever. It knows what I mean. 
Research shows that Americans move at least once every five years. Okay, they don't live there anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Wait, what, what percentage of Americans move? Who would ask it like this? Do some people never move? Like what? I've never heard of anyone who's never moved. I mean, unless they died really early. I guess that makes sense, but th that would consider that an outlier. Let's say you live a full average life expectancy. I'd be shocked if you never moved ever. Right? Your, your parents still live in your childhood home. Yeah, but they didn't grow up in your childhood home. So they moved. <laughs> So that doesn't count. Yeah, I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. And if you've been a student who went away for college or university, you've moved like 18 million times. Hello, that's me. I moved like once a year for like six years. <laughs> I know all about that moving life. When I was 17, I ran away and uh, moved every year for like six years. I moved a million times, feels like same. But your permanent address was the same and your parents would get your mail. No, it wasn't. Cause my parents got divorced, baby. <laughs> so I had to like change my address and whatever. Life is a highway. I don't mind it all night long. Okay, fuck, I didn't look at the... Who's this from? El Paso, Texas. Another Texan accent. I don't know how to do it, but we're gonna try. I'm a child of divorce. I will have you know. Actually, not a child. I'm a teenager. No. Young... Young adult of divorce. What's, how do you say this? What, what are you when your parents got divorced when you were 20, like 20? I'm not a child. Am I a, are you a child? <laughs> I don't know. I was old and moved away, so I didn't really care. It was fine. I am a young adult of divorce. Like that sounds like I got divorced. <laughs> like that's not what I mean. <laughs> No, that, that sounds weird, right? You don't say that. I'm a young lady of divorce. No, that sounds like I got divorced as a young lady. To be clear, I have never been divorced or married. I'm sure these, these children are still shocked at that. I'm broken. No, I'm not though. Okay, I'm stronger than my parents' divorce. Power to you too, if you feel the same. <laughs> I am a product of divorce. <laughs> that's a good one i am a product of divorce so any undesirable qualities about me i will blame on that i'm just kidding i i don't feel that way at all coming from a broken family see i have the hot take that like divorce doesn't mean you're broken no some people should get divorced okay don't be mad at your parents if they re if you know other people omniscient perspectives are like maybe they maybe it's better <laughs> you know um usually people don't divorce just to just to hurt you the child usually it's because they hate each other or one person did something really bad you know one or the other usually not because they they want to ruin the child i think that'd be really fucked up i've never heard of anyone doing that i suppose it's possible but that that's weird yeah. But you only really realize these things when you're old. You know what I mean? You don't realize this as a a dum-dum. I also realize I am more fortunate. I don't know. That's not the right word. I am uh, in an easier position to have had parents divorce because I was 20. It is much fucking harder on a young child who doesn't quite have any, like who doesn't have any experience with relationships at all yet. So they can't even like understand how it's possible, right? If you're too young. So like I'd had relationships by then. So I could at least understand 
Like, oh yeah, not liking a person. I know what that's like, you know. I've broken up with someone once at least <laughs> by that age. So like, I get it. And I was already gone from the house. So it didn't impact my day to day in the same way that it would like a six year old, right? So it's very different if you're older and out of the house. I mean, maybe not everyone agrees. I'm sure there's so much drama that your parents will suck you into regardless of whether you live there or not. But uh, I was a young independent lady who was like, bye, the second I turned 17, bye, you guys deal with bloop. I'm gonna make my own life here, bye. <laughs> yeah, it fucked you up. Yeah, when you're a child, then it, it's like you're in a more helpless, helpless position because it's just your parents' world and you're living in it. But if you're old enough to have moved out, and you're already creating your own world, then it doesn't need to like not ruin you, but impact your life in the same deep way because it's not a daily thing you have to be exposed to. So I understand that I am had it, had it easier than a child. Okay, speaking of children, um, this next one, El Paso. Hey bitch, wow, it starts with hey bitch. <laughs> Hey bitch, sorry, that was uncalled for. Let me try again. Hey, hollow bitch. That's better. My name is, hello? YouTube? <laughs> hello? Uh-oh. Hello, YouTube? Oh no, we died. Are we alive? Hold on, I'm gonna close the chat. Susan! <laughs> okay, it's back, it's back, it's back. We're back, refresh, refresh, refresh. Refresh, please, if you don't see me. <laughs> Susan! It's cause the letter said, hey bitch. Actually, or maybe YouTube wants to divorce me. Okay, we're good. Yeah, they, they don't want to tell the public about divorce. Is that a sparkle in my hair? Maybe. They're like, don't talk about divorce, okay? We are trad wives here. Divorce, it's not allowed. <laughs> All right, let's continue the, with the hey bitch letter. Okay, my name is Abigail, or Abby for short. I'm 14, I know, so baby, shut up. But I'll be 15 in June. Oh shit, fuck. I didn't think of that. That's so much older. I do nail art and I'm thinking of starting an Instagram for it. I got that C curve, girl, just like my mom, you. Every week people ask, can I see your nails? Because they always know I have something new. I have two black cats, Salem and Jasper, a dog, Toby, who keeps getting out of the yard, in capital letters, a hermit crab, and a turtle. I'm sorry to say it, but your hollow shoes are, they bother me. Because mine are better. They're converse and everyone says they're rad. Ah, that's so frustrating. She's got converse. I've been dethroned. My friend once showed me, showed my nails to some people. I don't know. And then I heard them say, she's like simply nail logical. And I got so excited. I also have a hollow belt and hollow folders. I wanted to send you one to trade for hollow because good ones like fun lacquer and stuff are too expensive for me, sad face. I wanna show you some of my nail art, but I don't want to waste printer ink. But go to my Instagram for some I posted, wink, wink. I kinda wanna see this smart ass's Instagram. Let's see if it's still active. I'm such, okay. I'm not gonna read it out loud in case it's like a personal account, but I'll just hear. If it's not, then I'll share. It's 
probably defunct. You know how many like 14 year olds made accounts and then just like canceled them? There's no nails on this. There's no nails, but there's butterflies. What if I scroll all the way down? There's literally no nails, girl. <laughs> no nails, she deleted all the nails. Okay. Um, I wanna show you some of my, okay, sorry, I read that. Also, can we talk about when you actually water marbled? Guess I should get drunk. <clears throat> I'm sorry, how old are you? And try and see if I can do it too. Maybe I should tell you about myself. I'm left-handed. People always go to look at my left hand and then they're like, what? Because I don't do nail art on that one. I have blue eyes and blonde hair. My nails are long and yellow and I accidentally scratch people a lot. You're probably bored. Whoops, sorry. I totally just said bless you to my cat who just sneezed. I have a collection of rocks and bottle caps. That's all I can think of to say for now. Merry Christmas to you, Ben, and the cats. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> JK, I decided to print the pictures anyways, so here they are. The printer doesn't do them justice. Okay, here. These are her nails. What do we think? Oh, the, you know, like the Pokemon's pretty good. So is the Beetlejuice. Not bad, okay, you've redeemed yourself. Teenagers scared the living shit out of me. See, I was a teenager who probably scared everyone. So I don't mind it. <laughs> it just makes me laugh. <laughs> just like, okay. I definitely made jokes about being drunk when I was 12. Like, okay, judge me or my parents, I don't care. But that's what I grew up with. And it was always like, just funny because it wasn't actually there wasn't actually anything bad happening, <laughs> but that's me. I know that's not always gonna work for all families or people where there's like a history of abuse or addiction. Like, yeah, I totally get it. Absolutely. For me, uh, eh, eh, no, no, there's not that. Me and my sister used to joke about being drunk. We'd make like iced tea and be like, I'm so drunk. And like, it was so stupid. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> like, we're just playing, I don't know. <laughs> And then when we eventually did get drunk, you know, I, I think I was pretty responsible about it. For an irresponsible teenager, I was pretty responsible. You know what I mean? All right. <laughs> Look at this letter. Okay, this letter does not have a return address or a stamp but it was forwarded as a courtesy. Mail with insufficient postage may be returned to sender. But the mailman was having a good day. He was like, okay, we're, we're sending it. <laughs> That's it. They didn't pay for this. They sent this to me for free. And it worked. Holy shit. Was it from England? How do you get responsibly drunk? Oh, there's many ways. Just make sure you're you're not driving or you're, there is a dedicated de or designated driver. Make sure that you are surrounded with friends. Um, if you're going out, make sure you don't drink too, too much so you know your limits. Like you kind of get a feel for that once you start drinking. Make sure you're not like mixing way too many things. Don't do drugs at the same time as alcohol, maybe, you know, like there's a lot of ways to drink responsibly, you know? Why drink water, make sure you've eaten food, make sure you had dinner, you know? <laughs> there you go. That's my advice. I'm full of it, okay. Um, I don't know where this is from in the world, but Dear Christine, hi, my name is Sarah, and I'm in ha 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 JK. You don't need to know how old I am. I live in Ontario, Canada. Oh my God, me too. A couple hours away from you. 
I go to Starbucks a lot, but I don't have a drink slave. Aw. I love hollow and every time I see it, I buy it. I have your hollow it's me shirt. I bought it with the holographic Canadian money. Ha ha ha. Right now I'm on FaceTime with my best friend. I hope this makes it into one of your videos. If you could please follow me on Instagram, I would actually die. I love you. And I hope someday I can meet you at Starbucks. Okay, I'm gonna look them up on Instagram. You're guessing 12? Sounds like 12. Sounds like 12. Let me see if I can, if they're still active on Instagram. No, their account doesn't exist anymore. Which like, okay, if I was, here, let's do a poll. I'm too old to answer this question because there was no Instagram when I was 12. So I didn't even have the option of deleting my account or erasing it. I only had Facebook since university and then I deleted all those drunk pictures. <laughs> but I never had like childhood social media or even like teenagehood social media. So there is no record of that, too bad. Um, did you delete your childhood slash teenage hood uh, social media? Yes, nope, oops, not applicable, I'm old. I'm a teacher, can't confirm that kids are scary. That's a scary job you're doing, the little lat. I've deleted my drunk Facebook account completely. Yeah, me too. Even before I got YouTube famous, okay. Uh, when I was starting to work in like professional stuff, I'm like, what if my employer Googles me, even though it's like, you're not allowed to do that in the government. You're not allowed to, at the time, it's kind of crazy to ask someone not to Google someone. But I remember at the time they were like, your employer's not allowed to Google you. <laughs> but like everyone's gonna fucking Google people, okay? I feel like that's can't be a rule anymore. That's wild. But at the time, um, I still deleted all my drunk Facebook pictures. All right, did you delete your childhood <clears throat> slash teenagehood social media? 26% smart, yes, yes you did. 27% nope, oops. Someone's gonna find that. Maybe you don't care, which is good because it means there's nothing on there that you don't want other people to see, right? Half of you are like, not applicable, I'm old. I'm in this category, unless you count I'm not counting my university days because that's not really teenagerhood. But yeah, you know, half of you, no, a quarter of you maybe should consider it. <laughs> like you just never know. <laughs> you never know. What if you become a famous YouTuber? Listen, it can happen to anyone. I'm sorry, but it's true. You just, you don't know. What if you go viral for something really dumb? And then everyone's like Googling you. And then they're like, oh my God, I found this weird MySpace page and she used to worship Satan. Okay, cancel her. <laughs> you better delete that shit. I'm looking up for you. Okay, this one's from Say Seymour. Seymour, Seymour, M-O, what's M-O? Um, 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 <laughs> me, me, Missouri, Mer, no, the fuck is ammo? Motive, modus operandus, Montana, Missouri, it is Missouri, Montana, you guys don't even know, okay good, I don't feel dumb then. Hello, just wanted to let you know that I finally confirmed my thesis topic with my prof and now I can get to writing. Let's go. No take backs. Start writing. Just write one page a day. You're welcome. You'll finish on time. 
M-O is Missouri. Missouri. I, I'm probably not saying that correctly. Okay. Miss Missouri. Miss Sour Eye. Miss Miss Sour Eye. Miss Sour Eye. <laughs> okay, now I'm being a dum dum. Dear Christine, this is my first time sending a letter to a YouTuber. Also, this is so cute. I am an OG holosexual. The problem is I have no holo in my nail polish collection. Gasp. But I've been entering your giveaways. Sadly, I haven't won yet. Are they asking to win a giveaway? <gasps> Bang with tea! Hi, drink slave. So I bought a lottery ticket and I didn't win. So I sent them a letter asking to win the lottery. Did it work? No. Oh, that's too bad. Better luck next time. Wait, I have a question. No, no, come back. No, come back. Come back, come back, come back. Come back. Okay. Ben, what's a pot sticker? Harry pot sticker? Do you know what a pot sticker is? I have no idea. Thank you. <laughs> is this something you stick a pot in? My first thought was like weed, like a sticker about weed. Like something that you mark. Is it like a kitchen utensil? Cannabis. What's a pot sticker? So it's a dumpling, like a Chinese dumpling. The dumpling is called a pot sticker? Uh, like, apparently they all know this and I'm the only dumb dumb and I'm like, I've never heard that in my life. And then I uh, called Jen and she knew what it was immediately, but we grew up in the same house. So I'm like, what the fuck? When did you learn this? I'm pretty sure we're right and everyone else is wrong. Okay, right. no, but like <laughs> everyone was like, why are you so dumb? <laughs> it's a dumpling? <laughs> <laughs> I just, I've never heard of it, <laughs> but everyone else was like, how could you not know this, duh? <laughs> Where, okay, we should go, uh, what kind of food is it? What kind of dumpling? Just a dumpling. Gyoza? Oh, well, we just say gyoza. Not your white term for Asian people food. No, apparently it's like the direct translation of the Chinese, or I don't know if it was Chinese or Cantonese or Mandarin. But I'm sorry, I only order Chinese food in Cantonese. I don't know <laughs> your uh, English terms. No, but they said pot sticker was the literal translation of from that. But I, it's from the Chinese language. Okay, just confirming that they call it a pot sticker in their language. Oh. So that the pot sticker is not Americanized. They stop speaking Chinese to say pot sticker. Yeah, it's the literal translation. No, they, but they, they don't use say that. pot sticker. No, they say it in their language, but we say dumpling, I, or I've just always Gyoza. known it to be that. Okay, anyways, I just wanted to prove to you that I'm not the only dumbass. <laughs> I prefer... Uh, so is Ben. Some general taos. <laughs> Me and Ben both don't know anything. Maybe a nice chow mein. Picking duck? No. <laughs> All right, happy birthday tomorrow, Ben. It's too early for that. All right, have fun with mayo. Go name a hundred women or something. Oh, could you name a hundred men? No, I hate men. Hey, I was able to name a hundred women in 18 minutes. Can you beat me? No. I paid money to women because you named a hundred women. You probably missed that. I Do donated it to a women's health charity. <laughs> you donated money to a hundred women? Well, I don't know. Maybe it'll reach 100 women. $2,900, maybe. I don't know how they divvy it up. But I was like, Ben named 100 women, so I'm going to give women money. That's good. Yeah. So you'll, you'll name you men and you'll give men money. No, I, I won't name men. What about men? What will we do without men? Live. Men are doing incredible live things. Live in peace. They're in the sewers. We would live in peace. They're building buildings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks for the tea. We would thrive. We would live happily. We would go for walks alone at night. <laughs> we would never be catcalled again unless it was a literal cat.
You do not age ever? I'm actually a vampire. Um, my doctor confirmed this. You wanna hear another story? Don't mind me, I'm just transferring it so I can put it in my on my hot plate. Um, so A, I might look a bit better today. Like my eyes don't look as old and nasty and demon-like because the medication is working right now. <laughs> so I look more of my age. <laughs> I look more normal for the first time in a long time, I think. I'm not wearing any makeup though, except to cover a nasty pimple. But, um, so maybe that's why, okay? So I look like how I'm supposed to look because my um, terrible eye problems, the rashes have gone down because the medication is like, stop it. Pew. However, the current medication that I'm on makes me so fucking cold that I am a vampire. And I can't, <laughs> I took videos of my feet turning, like this is too much information. I'm not asking for medical advice, but it's kind of funny. <laughs> I'm always someone who's just like cold all the time. That's just me, normal state. But <laughs> my hands and feet will turn like literally gray. <laughs> like blue and gray sometimes. It's being amplified by the medication that I'm on to the point that I'm like wearing gloves in the house or I'm like have to run around so I get circulation back. And I sent a video of me like touching my feet to show like the lack of circulation to my doctor. <laughs> and so she got a video of me touching my feet. I just thought you should know that I gave it to her for free. That and the next Holo Taco collection that I already swatched, sorry, no behind the scenes. Um, my skin, like, it looks like I'm dying, kind of. Like, it, I have to Photoshop it, because it looks weird. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can't really, like, right now it doesn't look so bad. Right now it looks fine. But occasionally I'll, like, go like this, and my hands will be, like, literally gray compared to my face. <laughs> I'll be like, hello? <laughs> hello? <laughs> Right now, I feel fine. I guess I'm like moving around and whatever. Not even a pic, but a video, a video of my feet. I was like touching the foot and I'm like, look, this is how I get blood into it. You know, there you go. I'm okay with doctors getting free feet for health. It was for health reasons. So her and the whole medical staff at, <laughs> at her place of employment. <laughs> Have my feet, you are welcome. Shout out to the bad circulation gang, but I know why it's happening, it's the drugs anyways. But the drugs make my eyes better right now anyways. So there you go. Okay, um, where were we? Anyways, you and Ben are goals. Y'all are just family goals. Everyone needs cats like Benchy and Zyler, this is true. So the weirdest thing happened at school. I think it's cause I binge watch you religiously. I broke my pointer nail on my left hand and same side of the nail. The cause of death for my nail was a cabinet. Sue all cabinets. We should just get rid of them. Side note, I posted it on my Twitter. I hope you like the letter and my drawing. Very cute. Do you have your doctor sign NDAs if you're swatching a new collection? No, they don't care. <laughs> and I, I hope they don't care. <laughs> like, I don't want my doctors to care about what I do for a living. They usually forget, honestly. Cause they're, just, they're too busy. Every time I feel like I have to re-say the relevant things in my life. <laughs> you know, just say it, tell your story 18 times. You know what I mean? It's annoying. Just. You know, take notes. It's not that, I'm okay, I'm being annoying. Doctors are very stressed in Canada. There are too many patients and not enough doctors and resources and support. So it's very hard to remember when you're kind of feel like you have to take 18 million people in a day. I understand. Imagine your doctor is a fan. Okay, I'll tell you one story. <laughs> they were not a fan. And they were not really my doctor. And this was a long time ago and I only saw her once. But I saw a specialist for something 
and um, she just looks at me and she goes, where have I seen you before? <laughs> I was like, I don't know, in prison? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. <laughs> no, I just go, oh, I'm like on the internet. Maybe, maybe that's it. And she goes, do you know Tati? <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> and then I, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I, I did a video with her. And she's like, oh, I love Tati. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Anyway, so, um, so I'm having some issues. <laughs> Just from a purely judgmental perspective, based on her appearance, she looked like someone who really cared about her skin and hair looking good. She looked like someone who watched, might watch Tati. You know what I mean? <laughs> I never saw her again. It was just a one-time specialist. <laughs> But I can't believe, like, she, she was like, do you know Tati? Like, that's what she wanted to know. Like, she didn't really know me, but she, she knew Tati. <laughs> Fun fact. Okay, this is a big one. You're just getting all the stories today. Happy Easter. This is from um, Australia. Yeah. All right. It's from Glendale Post Shop. Oops. That address was too big. Cancel that. Delete that from your mind. It's okay. They don't live there. It's been eight years. On average, Australians move once every four years. Oh, now. There should be a story time stream. I don't know how to do that. I just know how to tell you stories as they organically arise. You know what I mean? You're too nice. I would have been annoyed. I mean, I wasn't annoyed. People recognize me. I didn't really think she was that good anyways. Like, <laughs> not, not for that, but like, I just didn't feel like her professional opinion was that, had that much insight. I thought it was kind of like a, a lackluster opinion. <laughs> That's a weird word. And, you know, I've waited six months to see her, and she asked me if I knew Tati. <laughs> Do you think I would have gotten fast-tracked if, like, she knew that I, like, knew Tati? I don't know. Probably not, but you never know. Get me in sooner. Because I know Tati. <laughs> okay, there's glitter and bullshit in here. Fuck. I have no... Does that say love you? We are extracting carefully. There has been a glitter bomb that went off. of me money oh my god it looks so much like Canadian money but this is Australian money okay that's sick look at that what the fuck wait is that the queen I guess that makes sense, right? Menchi! Menchi's here. Okay, hold on. I got... Fuck, I forgot my lint roller. Menchi, get the lint roller. The queen is on all the money. It's wild. <laughs> it looks like Canadian money. <laughs> it's so funny. Hey girl, how you doing girl? You like mail? Yeah. Do you wanna sit on the back of my chair? Here. And she. Okay, she's being testy. All right, how do I, where do I begin? Australian money is sick. It has hollow, it has the queen, 
It has birds. How much is this? What is this? Five? Five? How much is five? <laughs> How much? Five dollar. Australian bill in Canadian. It is four dollars. Okay, it's close. Man, she come look at the money. Ugh. She just jumped on the desk. Man, she, there is glitter. Be careful. Okay. What is this? It says, Dear Christine, Ben, Pussies, and Jen. <laughs> My name is L, but it's pronounced Ellie. First, oh, she likes the smell of this. First of while, I was paging all the goodies in this envelope i spilled hollow glitter all over my bed yes i slept with hollow p.s i'm 15 i didn't say my age first off after finding stuff around my house i realized i've been homosexual since i was born oh and my homosexual is too she don't know it oh my mom is homosexual i see so much hollow in her craft stuff Oh, and the Australian hollow $5 note. Did you know the capital of Australia is Canberra, not Sydney? And I wish that... Here, Menchie, purr. I wish that the hollow ribbon said queen, not princess, because you're the hollow queen. I love you so much. sent glasses that say 2017 but they're covered in glitter so I'm gonna put them down so wait she just found me shit from around her house what is this <laughs> what is this I'm scared oh my god there's glitter in it oh it's just like saran wrap with glitter did she steal this from her mom it says I love you She learned about the par parental scam I taught her. Oops. I'm gonna have glitter on my keyboard for eight days. Okay. Well, I meant you get the lint roller. Hold on, we'll be right back. <laughs> Sometimes men, she's on my shoulder, and but I have to like walk around and I'm like, okay, you're coming with me. And she's like, fine, I don't care. See what I care. You're gonna, you're gonna carry me then, mom. Uh. <laughs> she wants to know what's going on with the lint roller. Okay, be careful. My tea is on that side. Go. Okay, walk this way. This way. Keep, keep going. There you go. chat don't look in the light you weirdo hey you weirdo you like tea Benchy, we should start a new clothing line called Psycho Kitty. I like it. It's like Happy Bunny, Psycho Bunny, Hello Kitty, Psycho Kitty. <laughs> what do you think? I'm down. You could be the muse. Would you like that? You could be the model. Benchy, they can't see me.
Hello? Okay, I'm gonna open the next letter now. My brain cannot comprehend the size of the room you're in. It's not big. It's a very small room. There's like one foot behind my chair and this couch. So anytime I try and back up, I just hit the couch. I can't go back any further. My chair's hitting the couch and the couch is against the wall. And then this is a desk. And then in front of the desk, there is a dresser that has storage and then the tripods, but the tripods don't fit on the floor. So one of the sides of the tripods is on the dresser because there's not enough room. Um, that's how big the room is. <laughs> this is like a spare bedroom that normally you would put a bed in. Instead, we, we did this. Okay, girl, I can't see. <laughs> Go back on my shoulders. <laughs> she meant she is stream sniping, for sure. Okay, next letter. It's from England. Finally, I've been waiting to use that accent. Okay, let's open her up. Spot the contradiction. What's in here? Oh, cards. Is that a monkey? Menchie, I found a monkey. Would you like to read? Can do you know how to read? All right. Okay. Um, these are my cats. Oh my God, Menchi! Look, look at, look at her cats. Look at them. Do you like them? Do you fancy these cats? Okay. These are my cats. They mean the world to me. And my name is Fever Farah Farah. And my age is twenty-four. Oh my God. That is too old for this stream. Uh, 10 plus seven minus 11. Wait, is that a test? I first got into your channel when I was only eight. How does that make sense? You couldn't have sent this letter in 2016, have been 24, ha but have been watching me since you were eight. Spot the contradiction. I don't believe you. I think you're lying. Mm -mm, you little devil, you. Mm -mm -mm, I think you're actually a child. <laughs> you're a lying child. <laughs> I thought you were hilarious and started uh, watching about, oh, learning about hollow. My parents call it a phase, but I tell them they don't understand. Love you and your videos anyways. Uh, here's some random hollow. There you go. Yes, the other evidence is children cannot do math. Or maybe they age differently in England. Could be. Who knows? All right. Um, yes, a 24-year-old would definitely send me these. <laughs> what is this? What's here? What is this? Monkey create? What is this? Monkey task. Either that's thunder or this cheeky little monkey's tummy is rumbling. Any ideas what you feed a monkey for dinner? Build some tasty treats for this little hungry fellow. What is going on? Statue of Liberty, koala, and a robot. Oh, that's me. Don't eat my hair. Let's read the robot one. Press X. Task, Lily. Hold on, I'm trying to get it to focus. Lily is always building machines and devices in her den. This robot was intended to serve hot chocolate in the cold. Now you build a robot for your adventure. Yes, I believe you are 24. I'm gonna give the, the, the monkey to Ben for his birthday. Okay. All right, well, thank you. Love that for us. Okay, let's open this. This looks like a treat. Menchi, what's in here? This is either like hand sanitizer or lotion or a wad of cash. What do you think? Could this be our lucky day? Menchi, you gonna run away? What if it's cash? We split it, okay? The date is January 27th, 2017. <gasps> it's from Finland. From fucking Finland. 
Oh my god, the customs declaration says cat treats. Did you fucking know, girl? You fucking played me. I thought you were here for me. Just been waiting for me to open this. I thought it was a wad of cash. Okay, we could have run away together. It could have been me and you forever. <laughs> She's literally like... <laughs> Menji, what is this? It's Whiskas from Finland? But I, I'm not gonna feed them to her. She smells it. It's too old and expired. Literally expired in 2018. <laughs> but she smells it. Okay, I'll let her smell the package. She's so smart. What a little sassy lady. I'll be like those that uh, those those bad moms on TikTok who like pretend or allege to be pretending that they are feeding their two-year-old sugar every day for breakfast and then claim they're not. They're just doing it to make people mad. That's what I'm. That's what I'm doing right now. Oh yes, eat this expired food. I'm gonna tell everyone about how I'm feeding my my child expired cat food. Go on, get mad, be engaged. See you on TikTok Live later. Don't forget to send me some bits or whatever. Okay, there's also expired chocolate for mommy from Carl Fazer. Okay, who is Finnish in here? There's Vanat Otot. Vanat Otot. Oh, she likes that one. Benji, you're so pretty right now. Why? Stop. Stop being so pretty. More Carl Fazer. This one says new. Chili and crisps. Carl Fazer is the best chocolate. Too bad it expired in 2017. <laughs> R.I.P. Why do you want the chocolate, girl? I guess everything smells like the whiskers. Okay, where's the letter? Was there a letter or is it just food? Here, Menchie, what do you like? You like this? Vant Otto? girl she wants to be pet by it good girl there you go what a good girl yeah yes girl <laughs> when she ate the letter yeah she was licking yeah it's all expired to be honest i don't i wouldn't have eaten stuff from the mail anyways because you just never know you know who wants to kill you <laughs> you can never be too safe while i appreciate people sending me stuff i just like don't want to die either, you know? Not that I don't I don't trust you. But I mean I guess that means I don't trust you. <laughs> you can never be too careful. Someone might want to murder you. I watch true crime. Okay. Hello. Hello. We are two girls from Finland and you have been our favorite YouTuber already for so long. We have though then send you and got some Finnish candy. So indeed, we are 11 years old and inhabited in Easter, in Eastern Finland. I hope the Finnish treats in invalid. This is probably translated. So it's not, uh, you know, perfectly one-to-one. -one. No one else is worth our hollow stuff. So we do not get to talk about it at school or WhatsApp or others get angry. Nupu English bad, but here in Finland, it's girl's name. Nupu and Elizabeth. Also, you are Hollow Queen number one. Greetings to our friend Banja. We are Hollow Sexual too. Very cute. Very cute. Thank you, girlies from Finland. Thank you, Fern. Gotta head out. I'm going to present intro to tech for girls at an anime event. That's so cool. Let's go. Let's go. 
They're 18 now? Oh my god. So is this candy bar. <laughs> I can't believe Menchie fucking spotted the whiskers. She fucking sniffed this shit out. That I'm sorry, I can't give it to you. It's expired and it traveled the world to get here. But you can wear it as a hat. You can wear it as a hat. <laughs> Good girl. Yeah, there she goes. Good girl. <laughs> it's so lovely seeing her. She's so calming, you know? Fuck the Easter Bunny. What about Menchie? She's so talented. Just look at her. You know, they say pretty girls have no talent. Just, just look. Are you not impressed? All right. Next letter. This one's from New York. I will give her treats after stream. She deserves it. Just not right here, right now. Oh, stop licking the limb roller. She does that too. She's a freak. Uh oh, there was glitter in here. Oh no. Oh no. You tired, Mench? Why don't you go to your bed? <gasps> it's the whole family. Hello, I am Sadie, and I'm not to brag, but I'm 11. Well, okay. Sorry, you're better than 35. I have a cat named Manzi. Man, he is a black cat and has retired somewhere into the trees for the winter. <laughs> what? Don't worry, he has done it before. I still see him every other day, but he does not like the cold. This is some cat hair. Menchie, can you smell it? Random fact, did you know... Uh, Sadrick is a more common... Sadie is a more common dog's name than a human name. Also, my grades are... Oh, shit! My grades are 79 in ELA, 91 in SS, 90 in math, 86 in science. That's pretty good. You better get those grades up though in ELA. That seems to be your weak spot. I don't know what ELA is. What is ELA? <laughs> Love from Sadie to simply mailogical. Thank you, Sadie from New York. Menchie. Let's open, open on camera. English language arts. So what does that mean? Just art? Okay, by it's from England, so there's no return address. No, they don't know what that means over there across the pond. Okay, Menchie had her fix. Okay, what is this? A fucking novel? What's going on? Oh, it's English class? English language arts? Why don't they just call it English? I just called it English. There was English and then there was French. <laughs> Maybe it's English, but like Fancy. You know, it's like fancy English. It's English, but more vibey. I didn't have those courses offered to me. That's why I can't pronounce anything. Hi there. I'm Ruby. This doesn't look like me.
Okay. What's next? Oh, this is a letter. Dear Christine, P.S. I think that's how you spell your name correct. My name is Ruby. I'm 11 years old. I come from England, but I am half nor Northern Irish. I can't do that accent. I live in the southwest in a little village in Devon called Jacobstow. I love your channel so much and I have one Canadian coin for you and one English penny. But I don't know where my Canadian penny is. So I got an English one. I have two annoying but fun sisters. I have six pets, two dogs, Poppy and Rambo, two cats, Snuggles and Lilo, and two fishies, Ray and Finn. I've drawn you and Ben and Menchi and Zyla. I've also drawn my pets and me. Oh, so darling. It's, um, I love it. Look at this. Zyla and Menchi, so sweet. Can you do a Scottish accent? No, I absolutely not. It's no. The only reason why I can sort of do sort of British, but I don't know what region and it travels is because I, there was so much British TV in my Canadian household growing up during the day when I was sick. It was just a lot of British like fucking uh, weird soap operas. That's my memory. Because in Canada, we didn't have the American channels always. But there was like British shows on. I don't know. <laughs> That's all. Oh my god, look at this. Isn't it lovely? It's me and Ben. Happy holidays from the cats. Aww. Okay, I need a card for Ben's birthday. I'm going to give him this. What do you think? Huh? Looks good. Okay, don't, don't tell him. Ben, I hope you're not watching. I'll be like, I drew it. <laughs> and this is their pets. Lilo, Snuggles, Finn, Ray. Sometimes it looks like I have dementia. What? <laughs> okay. Anyways, thank you from England. Lovely. All right, we gotta find some oldies. Oldies. 2018, not old enough. I want like 2016, let's go. Oh my God, uh, hello. <laughs> Did you need that many stamps? Holy shit. Did you say 2018? Not old enough. I want the good shit. Oh, July 2016, that's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, February 26th? No, that's his 18. I can't read. <gasps> November 2016. I'm picking out the oldies. July 2016. Let's do that. glitter on all of these 2020 oh that's covid we don't want to be reminded of that that's a covid letter okay this one doesn't have a date but it looks like a child <laughs> from calgary alberta out west in canada yeet yeet All right. Um, Dear Christine, my name is Chloe. I love your videos and your cats. I have three cats and one dog and three chickens and 10 fish. I was wondering if you could give a shout out to my channel, Galaxy Puppy. <laughs> Thanks, Chloe. That sounds vague enough. I feel like there's probably like seven channels named Galaxy Puppy. So shout out to Galaxy Puppy. Okay, this one's from Emma. Oh no. Emma. Fuck you, Emma. 
Okay, I'm not I'm not opening it fully. I'm just gonna peek. I'm just gonna do a little peek. Ready? It's fucking good. Emma from Homer Glen, Illinois. Ill annoying. That's what you are. You're ill and annoying for this shit. I've been glitter bombed. Oh no, it's in the letter. Dear Christine, you are such a, I have to read it sideways. You are such a funny and talented YouTuber and actually one of my favorites. You are so pretty and amazing. Keep up the great work and stay hollow. Glitter attack. Ugh. I've been taken out. I've been taken out by a glitter attack. Oh no. I was hit. What happened to Simply Now Logical? I didn't know this was a roast stream. All my children roast me. Oh, this is so cute. Menji is a homosexual. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a fucking cute. I like it. Menji, come back. It fits, sorta. It's Xyler. Look at that fit on Xyler. Super fly. All right. Cool. Thank you. Um, I need to lint roll my surface. You know how some people disinfect surface surfaces? That's like the, the lingo. Like, let me just disinfect the surface. Well, I lint roll my surfaces. I think I need to lint roll my face because I did see a sparkle on it. Where'd it go? I swear I saw it. There's like a glitter randomly, probably in my hair, my forehead. Mm, the tea's still hot because I have a hot plate. I'm bragging. Yeah, I'm 35 and I have a hot plate. So my tea stays warm and yours doesn't. Ew. That's my flex. It's been two hours. My tea's still hot, bitch. Bet yours is cold. <laughs> Do you know Tati? Just beat it. This looks like an adult, not a child. Christine, hollow, your humor and sarcasm really makes my day. I thought you would enjoy this card based on the jokes you make. <laughs> I thought this pen was hollow, but I've been fooled. My nails are horrible and I know I'll never be as good as you, but your videos are addicting. Thanks to you, I have come to terms with my hollow sexuality. I'm saving up to buy your polishes. Please tell Ben hollow for me. Hope you have a good day, Maddie. This looks more like a 20 year old wrote this, you know, not an eight year old, but uh, just beat it. I did like it, that was good. Okay, this one is from Kylie from Phoenix, Arizona. What's the accent like out there? It's warm out there, that I know, right? <laughs> Watch people be like freezing there right now. What's in Arizona besides like a desert? It's too hot out there. A tombstone? A cactus. It's like LA but more Republicans? What? Really? I thought that was Texas. Arizona is known for that? But I don't I don't know anything, okay? I don't go there. It's been raining, it's more desert. I thought it was like more chill because there's just like less there. Not like LA. Is it like LA? Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> no. 
The Grand Canyon? Yeah, it's like tourist stuff, no? Sand. There's sand out there. Girl, Texas is not like LA. Okay, well, like, I know, but I mean, if you had to say, it's like when you say Toronto is the New York of Canada. Like, Toronto is not like New York, but <laughs> if I had to pick a place in Canada that was kind of like New York-ish, like of our place, I would say it's, well, it's, it's like Toronto. So like, that's what I thought Texas is kind of like the LA of the South. No? Because it's like where the hub is and where like influencers have moved recently and they're trying to make it more of that kind of thing and people are taking advantage of capitalism more because they can pay no taxes or whatever. I don't know. <laughs> and there's like rich fucking mansions there now. Weeha! Uh, hello, Christine. I love your videos. You make me smile and laugh. You're my favorite YouTuber. Sorry I didn't draw any fan art or something. I just wanted to tell you that I think you're amazing and funny, but I subscribed a few months ago and I've watched almost all of your videos. Lol. Hope you have a holofill day. Sincerely, Kylie. That's very sweet. And thank you for the necklace, Kylie. It's just cheaper than LA. Yes. That's why people move there, isn't it? But not just regular people. Like, rich people move there. So they can be richer. That's what I that's the tea that I've heard. <laughs> that's the tea I hear about Texas. What do I know? Oh, from Germany. My last name is German. It means Red Hill. Rotenburg means Red Hill. Kind of like pot sticker. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not like that at all. But the uh, very simplistic translation of Rotenburg in German is Red Hill. So there you go. I'm Christine Red Hill. Nice to meet you. Texas has no state income tax. Yeah, that that's why... I hear people allegedly maybe move there so they don't have to pay any taxes. What's that like? What's it like not paying taxes and having money go back to your community? Hmm. Can't relate here in Canada. Whoa. Whoa, what is this? Florida also doesn't have stadium tax? It doesn't? I thought it did. It was just lower. I don't know. That's not how taxes work. I mean, okay, I'm oversimplifying. Uh, but it is kind of a function of that in some ways. Yes. You know, your city has to pay for some shit. And if they don't get money from its citizens or corporations then you're not gonna have the funding available for social services, such as healthcare is one example that people usually use for Canada on a national level. Although it is, it's different provincially, but generally, whatever. So yeah, Canadians generally pay higher taxes, generally, than the average American, but we have healthcare. Caveat, footnote, exception, not everyone loves the system. It's not perfect, not saying that, but yeah, that's on average how it kind of works. <laughs> what? Christine. Hello, Christine and Ben Menchian Zyler. My name's Katrin. Just say Kate, probably easier. Why did I pronounce it wrong? How do they know? And the old people strike again because I'm 20 years old. Oh no, you are too old. Get out of here. <laughs> I know. How am I alive still, right? Anyways, I'm from Germany and currently studying for my Bachelor of Arts in Theater and Media in combination with English. That's so cool. I probably have the worst nails 
of anyone my age that I know because I'm a nail biter and kind of need to use my hands a lot. Doesn't stop me from loving your videos though. First I thought you were a bit mod, a bit mad. Oh, I thought you were a bit mad when I saw you in the collab with Sophia in LA. I thought I was mad. I guess it's like my sarcasm sometimes, right? <laughs> but by now I absolutely love your content. I thought you were a bitch, but like now I kind of vibe with you. <laughs> Finally, a YouTuber who isn't fake as hell. Oh, T and completely irresponsible. How do you know I'm not irresponsible? Mad as in like crazy? Oh, okay. She means like crazy mad, not like mad. <laughs> okay, got, got it, got it. <laughs> Thanks for spreading the message that a proper education is needed and something to aim for. Seriously, I think despite your, your wait, despite your cursing, You are far better role model than most YouTubers. If only, if only I didn't swear, I could have saved so many more lives. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm fucking sorry. What do you want? <laughs> I'm allowed to shade them. I'm not in the public eye. Oh, okay. Um, right. You have the, the privilege of anonymity as I expose your address. <laughs> I'm just Anyways, please stay weird and cool and real and direct as you are. It's so refreshing. I watch your content whenever I'm bored, especially bored lately because of Christmas. And currently the 10 objects watermarbling with Ben was my favorite so far. I even started bothering my best friend with your videos. She seems to like you so far. Apologies for the lack of drawings. Instead, I got you some random chrome hollow nail polishes from Germany. God knows if they're any good, but you should try it. Remember, I'm 20, so it's fine I spent money on you. <laughs> Lots of love to Canada and stay away from America. <laughs> She's allowed to shade. She's anonymous, okay? Stay away from America. The madness might be contagious. <laughs> <coughs> oh, she got him. <laughs> okay, let's look at some German nail polish. German nail polish. I feel like someone else sent me these too. It's like so separated. Look, it's been sitting there for so long. Okay, these are nice. <laughs> yeah, America was just roasted. All right. Thank you to Kate from Germany. Here, um, I'm gonna pee out the tea. I will BRB, run a little ad for Susie. Let me know what ad you get. It better be Holo Taco. Don't forget to hydrate. That's uh, one way to drink responsibly. 
I started getting ads in French since watching me, but that's related to you, not me. <laughs> it should be. Ad, Ontario government building more homes. There's like 8 million condos in Ottawa and Toronto. So. <laughs> There's a lot of homes. Not sure if they're affordable, but there's a lot of homes being built. A face plumping medicine? Oh no. Not the Timu ad. Your name is Red Castle translated? What? I've been lied to my whole life. My family said it was Red Hill. Red Castle sounds better. <laughs> I'll take it. All right, let's keep opening the little mail. Um, we still have a full shower though. I, it's crazy. Like I should post a picture. There's still two bins plus the bag that I have here. Berg is hill and Berg is castle. So it is Red Hill. Cause my, it's not B-U-R-G. My last name is B-E-R, B-E, not U. So it's Hill. Got it. So I was right. I was right. <laughs> More mail. <gasps> From Toronto, Canada. Berg means mountain. <gasps> Am I a mountain? Polish mountain? Holy shit. I'd like that. I would prefer that. Can I be Red Mountain? I'll take it. Okay, I'm trying to find 2016 only. It's all connected. It literally is. I am Jesus. Everyone bow down. This is a cult. 2017 that looks good I like how I'm like 2018 is too recent <laughs> give me uh, give me 2016 or 17 yeah my last name is actually red polish mountain and on the polish mountain bundle fuck is it oh yeah we had to take it down because it's gonna be repopulated oh i just leaked that information without remembering <laughs> we're i have to explain myself now we're updating the listing so it has to be taken down and then it has to go back but anyways i was gonna say that the picture <laughs> of polish mountain has red on the top the picture of my finger with like the stack that no, I didn't update. Come on now. So just use your imagination. It's all connected. Mike, I did too good to be blue since it's my favorite, my bestie's favorite color. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. We love that. Aw, that's cute. Here, it's a postcard. Dear Christine, my name is Kitty and I am a fourth year PhD student. Fun fact, after I ch found your channel, after finding your MA thesis, this is not a child. <laughs> Searching for your name, oh, what? Searching for your name for a full length article to cite in a manuscript. I get really anxious when my nails chip, so until recently, it's just never, Sorry, I never painted them, but it's not a problem anymore now that I found Hollow Taco. Oh, this is recent. This is from 2020. Painting my nails and watching your videos has become a great form of self-care, and I especially appreciate how relatable you are as a fellow scientist slash stats nerd. We share the same birthday, so I can't wait until the 17th to see if there's a birthday surprise. Please give Menchie and Zeller a boop on the snoot for me. Love, Kitty. Thank you, Kitty. Oh my God. 
That's hilarious. Wait, is there an address on this? No. They literally signed the... They put simply an illogical M.A. <laughs> Thank you. That's like literally the only person to address me by my actual title. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing that. What do you think? And my email signature. Simply an illogical comma, master of arts. Master of nail art. We're in the sorting room now. I did mail sorting once for Elections Canada. That was one of my early jobs. I still wish I did my PhD so I could have been doctor, simply. <laughs> Just kidding. There's no way that I, realistically, I would have been simply analogical and have completed my PhD. That would not have happened. No date, no date. What's all these no dates? It should be like legally required to date the, the man. You still can't, yeah, but then like you wouldn't see me. <laughs> I would not be here. I would not be doing Holo Taco. I would not be doing anything if I was a PhD student right now. Other than that. So you're welcome. This feels like soft, what the heck? I should open it cause it's soft. Yeah, your soft letter got me. Did you know that if you own any land in Scotland, you would be a lord or a lady? Yeah, I saw that, I thought it was a scam. Like YouTubers are being sponsored by <laughs> some company that claims they acquire land on your behalf so you can get a certificate that says you're a lady or a lord. Um, I don't know. It kind of sounds like buying a star. That's like, I don't, I, although maybe that's legit. I have no fucking clue. It's neither of those things are anything I'm actually interested in, in a genuine way. I think it's a just, a way for the company to make money, probably. Okay, this one looks like a child and there's no stamp and how did this get to me? It just has my address. It says open on camera and there's nothing else. How did this arrive? We're opening that. It's a scam. They scammed the post office. I don't need land in Scotland to say I'm a 30 year old lady. <laughs> I just am. <laughs> I think it supports a good cause though. I forget. Well, that's exactly the strategy they were probably using because you just remember the good things. So you don't think about the things you might have questions about. It's, it worked on you. All right. Undated, no indication of timeline. Looks like a child. It was literally written on like construction paper. Like old school construction paper, guys. Like I remember this construction paper from when I was a baby. Look at this. The texture of this is so familiar to me. It's like that pale, really papery construction paper. And then you have to rip it out of the book. <laughs> Why is this so like 1997? This is so 1997. 
You know what would be another good idea for a stream that only I think is interesting and maybe seven of you? Do you remember that drug thing I shared on Snapchat and I referred to in my last stream? Like team info now and it was something I wrote in 2003. How old was I? I don't know. Someone do math. A teenager. It was for probably gym or health class. I found a binder of all of my schoolwork from that era. It would be like reading my own school assignments from 20 years ago. And they're kind of ridiculous. <laughs> It was like old enough that it's like interesting to look at, not boring. I, I anyways, so so I think, and some of them are like art class assignments, so it's kind of funny. Maybe that would be interesting. I don't know. I'd be it'd be a stream of exposing myself instead of you. Yeah, you will learn that crack is illegal. So you like this idea? We could go through my old school assignments from when I was twelve. And then I can roast myself. It's only fair. I've been roasting all these 10 year olds. <laughs> so like, let's just roast myself. It's the only piece of like material I have from my childhood. Cause I have nothing on the internet cause it didn't exist when I was a kid. But I do have my school assignments for whatever reason. I don't know. It would be fun. Yeah. I love going through old assignments. Teachers would get a kick out of it, I think. They'd be like, your teacher assigned what? <gasps> okay, hello, Christine, my name is Mariah. I'm 10 years old and I'm from Canada, Ontario. I'm from Ontario, Canada. I am your biggest fan. Oh shit. All the other fans, take a seat. I love you, Ben Menchie and Zyler. You are the best nail art YouTuber ever. I wish that I could meet you. Maybe if I come to Ottawa again, I will visit. I gave you some presents. I hope you like them. P.S. I'm holosexual. These are my presents. Uh, love Mariah. P.S.S. Please give me some of those pumpkins. P.S.S.S. Tell Ben to teach me how to water marble. Okay, bye. I'll tell him. I'll let him know. I think this is also a picture. Aww. It says little talking hollows. Hello, hi. <laughs> okay, that's kind of cute. And I got, yeah, loom, loom bracelets. I still don't know how the letter got here. No stamp, it was a courtesy delivery. All right, this one feels soft, so I'm opening it. It's from Richmond VA, is that Virginia? Ooh, it's, this is also soft. Dear Christine plus family, my name is Rebecca, 23 years old, too old, from Virginia. I just wanted to write to say how much I enjoy your videos. Your sense of humor and honesty are things that keep bringing me back to your videos in addition to their content. I have learned a lot, shocking question mark, from your videos about nail care, art, and so forth, as well as makeup. Aww. RIP, Simply Face Logical. You have a lot of skill and it's great to see you grow as an artist. I can't wait as an artist. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Am I an artist? I don't know anymore. I can't wait to see what you do in the future and wish you and yours the best, Rebecca. I enclosed this coin. this coin I got this one dollar coin from a metro station in DC and thought I should sponsor this video <laughs> they aren't terribly common here in the states as far as I know so I thought it would make for a fun thing to share on it is the depiction of Andrew J Andrea Johnson the 17th US president who is known for not much other than leading the nation after Lincoln's assassination. The, f <laughs> uh, 
the first president to be Im impeded? Do, do you mean impeached? Not sure. I can't, sorry, I can't read the rest of this. Not sure why they put him on some of our currency, but that's just me. All right, sponsored. Ding, ding, ding. Andrew, not Andrea. Sorry, can't, I can't read. I'm a woman. Wait, your is this like your subway station? So it's a subway station coin. So it's not American currency. So you can't buy anything except the subway with this, right? I guess we kind of had the same thing. In Toronto. On our subway system. All right. From Jacksonville, Florida. I haven't been there, but I've been to Florida many times. Florida is the number one place that Simply Not Logical has been. <laughs> Because of my Simply Grandma Logical. It is legal tender. Oh. It's valid anywhere, just uncommon. Oh. Okay. Cool. Dear Christine, hello. My name is Jazeline. I'm 11 and I'm from Florida. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. What the hell is an 11 year old doing with my hollow? What? You have my hollow? Well, I watch your video cause I can like a bouse. And they wrote it like B-A-W-S-E. Anyway, with seven N's, believe it or not, I used to live very close to Canada. I used to live in my beautiful state named Maine I miss Maine every day, but I just had to move. Thanks, mom. So how do you get your nails to look so great? I've watched your nail tips video, but I can't seem to get them to work. Nail oil. Maybe I need more patience. I don't know. Yes, nail oil and patience and stop doing chores. Okay, 11 year olds, stop doing chores. So uh, you gotta scam your parents. Okay, go back an hour, listen to my lecture on that. <laughs> So I got a quick question. If you were an American citizen, who would you vote for? What's the year? August 2016. I don't know about you, but I would go for Gary Johnson. He's going to be your best bet. Don't go for Trump. He's represented by the devil. <laughs> so, <laughs> she's 11. So yes, enclosed is a drawing. See y'all next time. Hollow bestie. <laughs> what? Yeah, I get my voting advice from 11 year olds too. I remember in like the 2016 era, people would ask me who I'm voting for and I'm like, I, I cannot vote in your country. <laughs> like there, there was just such the, this like, uh, tunnel vision of like it's America all the time no one else exists and people literally didn't even think that I couldn't have possibly been American I guess because I speak English so we're all American you know <laughs> there were so many people were like who are you voting for simply and I'd be like I can't vote for anyone <laughs> I don't live in America that's how this works I don't know if they didn't know that or they just assumed I was American maybe a little bit of both <laughs> Anyways, that's like my biggest memory of that era was that and also everyone telling me everyone who did know that I Didn't live there told me that they were gonna come move in with me one or the other But who are you voting for <laughs> just answer the question We should let Canadians vote in the US You know what that actually might help <laughs> just, just don't listen to me for a second but like, I actually think that would help. It would not help if Americans voted in Canada. No, 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 that would, that would not help. <laughs> but it actually might help you <laughs> if you allow Canadians to vote. Um, that will never happen. But um, you know, maybe we could make a proposal just like, we're only 37 million people and you have like 300 million, but like it, it, it could help. 
You know what I mean? Like like a charity vote. Yeah. What do you think? Charitable donated votes from Canada. Tax free. Canada is on average more progressive and leans more left in general. Just exclude, exclude Alberta. <laughs> I know there's like seven people from Alberta who were like, no, but they know what I mean. Um, but on average, yes, Canada is still <laughs> more <laughs> progressive. Um, but yeah, you know, come take, take Ontario's votes. Yeah. That'd be good. It would still count for like 15% or something. Yeah, if you take all of Canada. Let's go. I'll, I'm trying to save you. <laughs> Alberta is the Texas of Canada. Maybe. Maybe. Toronto is the New York of Canada. Alberta is the Texas of Canada. Although maybe it's the Arizona, according to what you were saying earlier. I don't know. What's happening in Alberta? I've actually never been there. So like literally don't listen to me. But when you look at like polls and you see how different um, provinces, which is like a state vote, Alberta on average votes way more conservative, which is our version of Republican, the conservative and liberal. Um, and so that's just different than me personally, but whatever. Asking who you vote for is seriously rude in Norway. Yeah, we're North America is so rude and I'm not being sarcastic. It's so fucking rude. <laughs> we just and Canada got infected by America, but we just blurt out questions and expect people to answer them or blurt out assumptions or blurt out opinions and say like, well, it's my opinion or you should tell me I'm entitled to this information because you exist. So I need to know. Um, but yeah, it's very different from reading mail and uh, wonderful chatters from some of the Scandinavian countries. I just like love the way your life sounds. I love the way your life sounds where people just have a different type of common courtesy where they're just not invasive or rude. <laughs> they don't ask women why they aren't pregnant yet <laughs> or tell them that they look fat. <laughs> you know, they just they don't do that. They're just generally kinder and they think about it before. On average, I am overgeneralizing, of course, but that's my anecdotal assessment. Thank you, Kai. It's my favorite thing when you do that super zoom. This one, this one, you like this one? It cracks me up every time. And remember, crack is illegal. Happy Saturday. The hardest part is finding the button and not looking. So I had to look there. <laughs> America is a sassy teenager. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good, that's a good way to put it. Can you please explain the crack article? <laughs> I paused and read the whole thing, but was that in a real publication? No, it was a school assignment where it was like probably health class or something. And they were like, pretend you're writing for a magazine called Teen Info Now and tell people about a drug. Pick a drug and write about it. So I picked crack. And now you know it's legal. Anyways, uh, dear Christine. Oh, I already read this. Oh yeah, this is the girl who asked me who I was voting for, if I was American. Hello, it's me. That's very cute. Thank you. This is from the Atwoods, like the, the channel, Roman Atwood. Wait, is that who? Is that what I'm thinking of? I don't know what I'm thinking of. There was one day in Ireland where ecstasy was technically legal. Sick. 
Hope they had a good time on that one day. I remember, this is probably legally inaccurate, but it's what I was told, allegedly. When marijuana was illegal, it is not now. But when it was, and I was in university, they used to say that there was this like area of land in between the river and the border or something, like in Ottawa, where the Ontario Provincial Police couldn't impose laws or whatever, but only the RCMP could, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, like whatever, but they just never go there because like they're busy and they're elsewhere. So people were like, oh, it's basically no man's land. You can smoke your joints right here <laughs> by the river. <laughs> so that's what everyone did. I don't know if it was true or not, but no one ever got arrested there. And then marijuana was legalized anyways. So the point is moot now. But I just remember people were like, I know about this land that you can go to and <laughs> do drugs. I don't even know. I, I, everyone just believed it. Maybe it was just a legend, yeah. Okay, Christine, no H. My name is Shelby, and even though you don't understand why people tell you their age, I'm gonna tell you, cause screw it. I'm 24 years old. I know, not 12, crazy, right? My husband, 34, and I ha watch your channel together. I've been able to turn him into a holosexual. We have a 10 month old baby who is probably the littlest holosexual ever. He's obsessed with my hollow shirt and even has a stuffed caterpillar with hollow on it. Do you have any suggestions of more hollow stuff for your littlest fan? We'd love to know. Um, for legal reasons, I do not recommend products to babies. <laughs> Thanks for getting me into nail art and for never failing to make me laugh. Love the holosexual Atwood family. Is this like Roman Atwood and his family? There is a strip of land in a national park where there are no laws, including murder. Let's go! <laughs> I've read about that, actually. Who wants to go? Who wants to go on a little trip? I'll do a giveaway. I'll take one of you on a trip. Grin, take me. Okay, we'll do a giveaway. It'll be a competition. I'll take only my biggest fan. No fake fans. This is from Sabrina from Toronto. Toronto, Ontario. What is this? Oh my God, I love it. I love it. I don't know what it is, but I love it. Look at this. It's like magazine clippings. Here, you, you guys take the quiz. Teen Magazine. Teen Info Now. <laughs> oh, look. It's allosexual. It's me. Okay, letter. Hello, Christine. So I just wanted to start off by saying slash telling a story. I told my mom I was writing a letter to my favorite YouTuber. She says, who? I told her it was Christine from Simply Analogical. She says, the crazy hollow girl? I say, um, yes, mom, the crazy hollow girl. I just wanted to share that, lol. I live in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, and love your videos. I once went to Ottawa. I didn't see you, but whatever. Maybe I'll see you later in life. Imagine I met them. I heard you like quizzes, so I picked up a magazine and got some. Here you go. Aw. Okay, let's do them. Which extracurricular activity should you try? Is this from 2016? Oh, look, there's Starbucks on the back. Wow. So much time has passed. Like, this was what people were doing eight years ago. And then you see TikTok, and that's what we're doing today. <laughs> R.I.P. to everyone. 
Okay, I have to read upside down. Find out where you should be after the final bell rings. Start. Are you a peri-social butterfly? Uh, no. Do you like spending time alone? Yes. People would say you're smiley or a go-getter. Neither. Oh, no, I'm a go-getter. Wait, what am I saying? Are you good at cheering up a friend? I think so. Cheerleading? One, two, three, four. Your per your upbeat per how did they get upbeat personal after spending time alone? What the fuck? Your upbeat personality is just what your school squad needs. Cheering would be fun for you. Okay, what do you guys think? I'm gonna be a cheerleader. U G L Y. You ain't got no alibi. You ugly. Yeah, yeah, you ugly. <laughs> Yay. I cheer up all my friends. Okay, Starbucks drink. Check. Find out what your favorite part reveals. <laughs> Ew, I don't want any of this. Give me an English breakfast fog with oat milk and sugar-free vanilla syrup. That's my order, okay? N none of this shit. What should you dress up for as Halloween? Let's, let us help you decide, okay, ready? Your favorite candy to get on Halloween is a ring pop, rainbow sticks, candy corn. A uh, ring pop, A. Okay, so this is a mostly thing. So I'm A, two. When choosing a costume, it needs to be pretty and cute. Very original, comfortable and fun. Comfortable, C. You'd carve which design into a pumpkin? A broken nail. A castle, a fairy, probably stars, C. So I got two Cs. You love Halloween because you're able to get dolled up. You can get super creative. There are tons of activities. B. Uh-oh, I'm all over the map. You want your Halloween look to say sweet, imaginative, or fun? C. Would you ever rock a DIY costume? No, I, I want to buy one. <laughs> yeah, it'd be one of a kind, maybe, if it's easy enough. Okay, maybe. C. I'm a cowgirl, everybody. You're fierce, fun, loving, and super outdoorsy, which means you should be a cowgirl this coming Halloween. All right, just like Shay Mitchell. <gasps> I could have been Taylor Swift. I didn't get her. Do the cowbell. What is this? Who? She looks familiar, but I don't know who she is. Is this someone? When you're in school, it's important to just be you. But when you're at home, <laughs> you pretend you're someone else on the internet. <laughs> like, why is it just when you're in school? <laughs> Wait, is this a celebrity or does she just like look like a celebrity? Does anyone know who this is? She looks like she should be on the Disney Channel, but I'm not sure I recognize her. Isabella. That's Dora the Explorer? No, it's not. Don't be your someone, yeah. Be yourself at school, be someone else at home. All right, what's this? What your lunch plate reveals. <gasps> tacos. Okay, are you a taco? Mm, I love the smell of tacos. Mm, I just wanna lick it. I wanna rub the taco oil all over me. Mm. Mysterious chicks. Mysterious chicks, <laughs> I, thought, I thought I was gonna say chickens. Love a good taco. Like this flavorful Mexican dish, you keep people guessing. They never know what you're going to do next and you like it that way. That's me. Or are you a chicken nugget? Always girl, friendly girls always pick chicken fingers. Why? Because they're the perfect food to share with buds, of course. Sweeties like you, but they're friends. This is such weird language. What, who wrote this? Salad. You're all about making life interesting. Just like this plate of veggies, you always keep things fresh and fun. You have the best ideas, whether you're in a class or at a sleepover. I feel like that's being too nice. These people are probably more boring. It's fine. Pizza. Being a fan of this cheesy favorite means you're optimistic. Oh, is that what that means? Ben is so optimistic with his pizza. Pizza is universally loved and so are you. <laughs> soup. You're nurturing just like this soup. 
Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese lovers are all about fun. You're not afraid of getting messy. Okay, well, I'm obviously a taco, a hollow one. Who wrote this? This girl, Isabella. When you're in school, it's important to, to be yourself. When you're at home, be whoever you want, girl. <laughs> okay, that was a good one. I really appreciate these quizzes. We just spent like 20 minutes doing them. Thank you so much. Wait, what was their name? Sabrina. Thank you, Sabrina from Toronto. Good content. Your nails look so good, thank you. This is brownie points with different iridescent toppers. And this is Perry Social with the same iridescent toppers. We went over it earlier, but um, it's also on my Snapchat. I don't think I, did I put it on Instagram yet? I'm always late to Instagram because I post on Snapchat first. And sometimes I forget to post it all together on Instagram. How do social media people keep up? I guess they have like assistance reposting or whatever. It's the most annoying thing. I just want to be able to just click once. <laughs> I'm such a boomer. This is Dutchland from Germany. They've ditched Snapchat? Who? Who ditched Snapchat? Did you ditch Snapchat? Here, let me do a poll. I've done experiments in the past because I was trying to decide like, should I keep posting on this one? Should I only use this one? Because I'm tired. But I, it very much occurs to me that the people who watch my stories on Snapchat are not watching them on Instagram and vice versa. So you're kind of like sacrificing it. One audience. So I was like, well, that doesn't seem fair. Okay. Um, what do you use more? Instagram. Well, I can't, I'm not gonna spell today, it's fine. Facebook and Snapchat. Let's keep TikTok out of this. <laughs> it's gonna be banned anyway, so, you know. Yes, I didn't spell, it's fine. Anyone want some tea? And yes, uh, when you upload a story to Instagram, there is a button you can click that also posts it on Facebook. That I do. But my Facebook audience for stories is much smaller than Instagram. But I do, like, if I post on Instagram, it automatically goes to um, Facebook. But that's because Meta owns both of them. So, I guess, thank you for that acquisition. You simplified one thing. Why isn't there a none option? Just don't vote. If you are like, fuck all that shit. It's a puppy. It's a tea bag. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, it makes me want to sneeze. What do you use more? Instagram and then Facebook. No one uses Snapchat. Okay, there's so many stories then that most of you don't see. <laughs> Cause I always post on Snapchat first. And then if I remember, I download them and post them on Instagram. I just like Snapchat has better filters that aren't just about like looking pretty. No shade, but shade. Instagram doesn't have like fun stew. I want to make my mouth look 8 million sizes bigger. Okay. I want big bug eyes. I want to look stupid. I want a filter that works on my cat. That's what I would like. Thank you. And Snapchat has that. I want that kind of filter, not smooth my skin and give me eyelashes and did it by accident. Like sometimes I posted TikToks too and it put a filter on and I was like, I didn't fucking pick that. And then I'll see later. It'll said like, beauty or like glow or something i'm like fuck <laughs> but it was like put over my stream clips i'm like i don't what what i didn't mean to do that 
Snapchat is for old people. So is Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I want fun, stupid filters. Thank you. You cannot set up Snap to cross post. No. Snapchat is boring. Oh, I guess I'm boring. <laughs> I just like the stupid filters. I want to, I want cat ears. I want bug eyes. I want a giant mouth. Like, that's what I want. Stupid <laughs> faces. Instagram's focus is on beauty filters and aesthetic. And I just like, it represents ugliness to me, ironically. It just like makes me think, it makes me sad. <laughs> and I know I can just not use them and whatever and other people like to use them, but I just like, I don't like it. It actually kind of irritates me. So I don't like when I go to the filter thing, it's just like, those are all the first 10 options. And I'm like, no, no, no. I would like something funny, not beautiful. I would like to look stupid. <laughs> I want to be silly. <laughs> Anyways. I'm such a 2016 YouTuber. Like when I think about it. Like no one says this today. No one's out there looking for like, but where's the bug eye filter? <laughs> um, yeah, no. They want their smooth skin and whatever. And I'm like, yeah, I don't care. But can you make my eyes 10 times the size? I only use Snapchat. Um... I, I only use Snapchat and have for years. Please keep posting. I will post on Snapchat. It's easy and fun because your stories make my days better. Happy Hello Saturday from Germany. Thank you. Insta has a lot of fake filters. Yeah, they need more like OG silly filters personally. Then I would use it more. Yeah, the OG Snapchat filters were the best with like the cat and the flower crown. <laughs> okay. Dear Christine with no H, hope you enjoy Da Posta, the poster. Hashtag here before Polish Mountain. P.S. I am nine. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. We have the youngest mailer of the day. But by the time you get this, I will be like one million years old. PPS, my name is Elizabeth. Here we go. Nine, everybody. Let's go. GG's, everybody. Does anyone remember when on a podcast, I think it was the one with Sophia and Tyler, we were asked, like, what's your favorite social media app? And I said Twitter. Well, <laughs> Twitter's not the same anymore. RIP. Whoa, <laughs> whoa, uh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, someone, this is this whole ass school assignment. Okay, I'm gonna stand up and present to the class. Hashtag save the blue eyed girl, Christine, hashtag ban, Starbucks, fake hollow, stay in school, simply nail logical, simply not logical, simply vase logical, simply hair logical, simply savage logical, simply roast logical, simply nerd logical, simply male logical, simply slime logical, question mark? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> okay, this is good, what the fuck? A plus. Good job. Who did this? Does it say their name? Hello? Okay, there's another letter in here. That's pretty fucking good. Oh, that is from the nine-year-old. Fuck. That is from Elizabeth. Elizabeth! Wow, she went places. I bet you she's like top 10 in her class, you know. She's probably doing 
very high level director level presentations. She's probably running like a corporate office of 70 employees and directing on uh, risk management strategy. <laughs> Good for you, Elizabeth. All right, this one is also from Germany. What the? Everyone's from Germany, this stream. Nine-year-olds from Germany stream. This is a German five cent coin, which is worth about seven Canadian cents. It's worth more when it's on hollow. All right, let's read, ready? Hello, Christy, my name is Anna, I'm 24 years old and I'm from Germany. I was told to deliver quite a lot of greetings. So that's what I'll do first. Okay, take a deep breath. We have a lot of greetings. My boyfriend Leaf says hi to Ben and Ben's brother and tells them he knows exactly what it's like to live with the hollow sexual tea lover. My cats Oberon and Aurora want to say meow to Menchi and Xyler. I think Oberon is in love with Menchi. He always touches the screen with his nose when he sees her. I also wanted to say hi to your dad and your sister. Your videos are the highlights of my week, even though I can't recreate most of your nail art because I love to wear my nails very short. But a few months ago, my local drugstore finally got some hollow polish, so I was able to cover my little nails in hollow, which makes them look 100 times better. By the way, I chose yellow paper to write on because it's banana color. I love your videos. Please don't change. Always be yourself in school or at home. Hello, greetings from Anna. Thank you, Anna, from Germany. That's a very nice letter. All right. Should I open on camera? This is from Lamont IL. Ingredients list? Illinois. Illiterate. Book. I'm cheating, it says book. What if I cut the book? It's okay, I can't read anyways. Thank God, I thought it was a Bible. <laughs> it's like, please, not another Bible. <laughs> I've already been mailed like 12. <laughs> For Ben. Should I open it? Don't tell him. Dear Ben. Now, Ben, you take care of Christine. Keep her out of trouble and make sure she does not get out of hand with the hollow. That's right. I need men to... I need a male keeper. I have never had something like this happen before. They go crazy with the hollow. I hope you guys have a great life together. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> have you really been mailed Bibles? Oh, yeah. So... <laughs> We've definitely opened some, or like days of, or days, uh, books about the end of times or whatever uh, on this stream. But I also got Bibles in the past. One I definitely included in a mailogical, like in the, the pre edited ones from the olden days. But then I'd gotten more from this company, or not company, this like group that just wants to fucking send you shit about it. And I stopped opening their shit on stream because I feel like they were just looking for attention for their Bibles or whatever. So I got way more than you ever saw. Yeah, I basically got like spam Bible mail for a few years there. Yeah, that's how, that's, that's an effective marketing strategy. Just spam the prospective customer and they will convert. <laughs> that's how it works. <laughs> Are they like telling you to read up and change your mind? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I got Bible spammed. And I was like, listen, you, if you come from my household, there's, you're just, 
nope, there's no hope for us. We're all going to hell. <laughs> I grew up in the least religious household ever. Relative to my friends. I had more friends around me whose like parents took them to church or whatever. And my parents were like, what's that? <laughs> what's that? <laughs> we know, what? <laughs> so I, I am unconvertible. I am not a convertible car. I am a sedan since I was born. It's just, it's not never gonna happen. <laughs> you can try though. You can send me some stuff and I will read it. Like I do every time I go to the States and there's a Bible in the hotel drawer. You know, sometimes I read a couple pages just to see, see what it is, see what's going on. But uh, no. Uh, oh, this is just an empty hollow notebook. I like it. It's cute. <laughs> All right. Yeah, there's been a lot of paper wasted on sending me Bibles. I apologize to the trees. Menchie Zyler. Simply sedan. <laughs> I am a sedan, not a convertible. You can't get me. Oh, this is pretty. Dear Christine, hi, I am Elise. I am 11 years old and I live in Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> I love your nail art channel. You are so funny and you are a great entertainer. Heavy applause. <laughs> Nicole Kidman, clap. We have a lot in common. One, we both make someone go get us a Starbucks. Two, we both dislike glitter bombs because of the cleanup. And three, we love hollow. Oh my God, we're the same. My life is hollow, hollow is everything. I don't know anyone, how could anyone could live without it. They're missing out on life. I follow you on Snapchat. Oh. <laughs> wow. Please say you're still following. It's been seven years. I'm gonna look you up, make sure you're still following. I follow you on Snapchat and I am subscribed to both of your YouTube channels. Are you here? Elise? Tell Ben I said hello. Have a wonderful day. Elise. Uh, Elise, are you here? Are you still following me on Snapchat? Please tell me you're in the 8%. 8%. Elise from I Illinois. Illinois. <laughs> Thank you for the hollow notebook. I will use it to confess my sins. Okay, let's do one more letter and then I'm gonna go confess my sins, you know, cause it is Easter weekend. So one more letter, let's see who it'll be. I still have like all this in this bag. So we're not done this bag, but Need a good, good one. One that looks like it was a nine-year-old, a nine-year-old with something to say. You know what I mean? Who's gonna be the lucky one? Money. Looks like a child wrote it. From Illinois. Let's do it. Christine at the beginning of the stream. Just a chill, no chaos, male opening stream. Always. You know what to expect. I'm gonna go feed, I'm gonna give Ben his birthday present. <laughs> Just some expired chocolate from Finland. Okay, this is from Madeline from Oswego, Illinois. Oh my God. This is child coded. Look at this. What does this say? There's salt slatter slatter? A letter for all of you. Open me. I'm please. On camera. <laughs> I'm so proud of my children. Oh. 
Okay, we've got some coins. Pennies, they don't accept those anymore. Oh, these are American. Does America still accept pennies? In Canada, we don't have pennies anymore. What is this? Menchi. Menchi. Dear Menchi, you are obviously Christine's fave. <laughs> no. I love both my cats. Just Menchi wanted to be in videos more. 30 American cents. Wow, what will I do with that? I sponsored you. Wow. You got a good deal. 30 cents. It's pretty good. Xyler. Love you, dear Xyler. FYI, you are not the fit father. <laughs> you are not the favorite. No. <laughs> okay, roast it on. This is for my dad. Eat more bananas. Keeping wholesome and funny. Love your jokes. Eat more bananas. Why? That shouldn't that be for Ben? Okay, Matt. Dear Matt, do better. What? <laughs> be in vids more. And is this your first piece of fan mail? Because I heard you say in one vid you have never gotten fan mail. I'll make sure to give that to him. Okay. Ben the Banana King. A banana. Ben. Dear Ben, I hope people stop asking you to get Christine T during fan mail unboxings because you never do. What? Also, I found the perfect song for you on YouTube. Search, put a banana in your ear. Is that the Troom Troom thing that we goofed on? Put a banana in your ear. Okay, this one says Jen. Why does Jen get a nice card? No hollow for you, only Christine. <gasps> ro ro roasted! Dear Jen, I love your sense of humor. It always makes me laugh and think of my sister. My sister is seven years younger than me. Please be in more videos. Be nice to Christine. I'm gonna send this to her. <laughs> like, Jen, I have a message for you. Yes, put a banana in your ear. Okay, this one's for me. Ready? Madeline, this is just spitting facts today. To Christine, hollow, no glitter bombs. It is just nail polish. Thank you. Let me just make sure there's not... Okay. Oh, it's a picture. Hollow, it's me. Uh, I, I love your videos. P.S. I also do nail art and have about 80 nail polishes and you are my biggest and only inspiration. The date was 2022. Wait, what? This is supposed to be 2016 mail. What's going on? I have 11 year old fans today. Pull the banana phone out of our ears. What? I don't know. Wait, how? What? Maybe she didn't know the date. Maybe she meant 2002. <laughs> didn't you close your PO box before 2022? I think that's when I closed it. Spot the contradiction. Wait, what? I thought 11 year olds all grew up by now. This isn't adding up. I don't believe it. I watch your videos every day. I live in Oswego, Illinois, USA. Hey, that rhymes. I would love if you could sign the photo and send it back to me. I'm 11 years old and in fifth grade. 
I come home from school and watch your videos to cheer me up. Didn't I stop making videos in 2022? Is this a prank? Okay, what does this say? Can anyone see the date on this? Oh, I see 2000. I see Jan 11, 20. What does that say? What does that say? We need to solve this crime before we leave. <laughs> what? It does say 22, right? Two hundred and two. The year is two hundred and two. When did I post my last video? A year ago? But what's the exact date? No, it wasn't a year ago. It was like three years ago, right? What's happening? It says January 2022. What? It was 2020. Yeah. I posted my last simply nailogical. Like, I'm not a YouTuber anymore. You were supposed to read the title in the Trim Trim voice. I don't know if people did, but that was two years before she sent this letter and she was like, I watch your videos every day. I mean, it's possible to still watch, but like, <laughs> wouldn't you be like, she doesn't, she doesn't exist anymore. I'm mad at her. Your last video was July 17th, 2022. It was 2022? <laughs> I don't know time anymore. I think this is a glitch in the matrix. Like, what is happening? There is a, a current, recent 11-year-old who watches my old videos today, all the time. And I'm their favorite YouTuber who doesn't exist, really. <laughs> like, what? But I, and I think I stopped at getting mail. I mean, this might've been the last piece of mail that just slipped in there. Wow, Madeline, you've really, you've puzzled us. I am perplexed, I am. Puzzled. Wild. What if she put it there to fuck with us? Well, I don't think so. I think the stamp says 2022. They're 13 now, yeah. Okay, they might be here. This is like the mo recency, hello. Madeline, are you in the chat? Cause you were a fan at least two years ago. That's not that long ago. Everyone else is like from seven years ago. <laughs> Caitlin, thank you for the super chat. Manny idea, not Easter. DN have new ones. Thinking double dare with scorched earth up to up the red factor for eclipse week. But what about this week? Uh, pick one, which one do you like better? This one, this is less Easter, more rainbow, more unicorn shifty. It's pretty. It's the iridescent shimmers over brownie points. You could pick one or do all of them, like the rainbow. Maybe she's my last mail ever, of course. Of course the last mail I ever got delivered to my PO box would be from an 11 year old. <laughs> all right, well, that was a good last letter though. I called it, you know, I judged it. I judged the envelope. I judged the letter by its envelope. I don't have the new colors, Chris. We'll put them over black. Do you have black? There you go, problem solved. Your second to last video was posted January 8th. It was comparing men's celebrities nail polish. 2022, I swear it was like 2020, but then I'm like, what? what is time? All right, well, I don't know what time is anymore, but um, you know, who knows? Who knows what dimension this is, who knows where you are right now, what time is it? Who knows where I'll be next time, you know? In another dimension. I'll see you in another dimension. Time is an illusion. Time and space are an illusion. 
Big shout out to the Menchie Gang, to the mods, and to the Easter Bunny. I hope that the majority of you who got chocolate get money instead for Easter, you know? The least you could do is ask your parents. I know it's probably too late because you're like 24 now, but like, you could try. <laughs> it's never too late to try and be like, remember when you bought me that shitty chocolate? How about you give me money? All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye.